My ex has been trying to trap me in a relationship by planning a pregnancy. She faked the pregnancy. Yeah. You now think that maybe your daughter is not yours. I just want to make sure. Did um, you fake any of these pregnancies? No. You took a DNA test before the show about your daughter, and she took a lie detector test. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter, that you're basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you. You told me she I have never cheated on you! No. I want full custody. Good luck. The way the two of you are acting, both of you should be ashamed of yourself. The only thing that really matters here is that there's a little girl. And I had two knuckleheads on my stage that I raised them. You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? Yeah. Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The and way you were at... Welcome to the show. My guest is Dennis. Dennis, why are you here? Uh, my ex has been trying to trap me in a relationship by planning a pregnancy. Because I met her for the first few months I met her, you know, I, we got pretty serious and I told her I've always wanted a kid, you know. And I guess she stopped taking birth control and got pregnant, so I stayed with her. How long have you dated this woman? About two years so far, on and off, since the beginning. You know. And in the beginning of the relationship, you said she got pregnant and she didn't tell you about it? Well, she, she told me about it. She told me that she was pregnant stuff, you know, because she wanted me to stay with her. She knows I was raised to do the right thing. I proposed to her. She didn't want to do that. She knows I would stay with her and try to work it out, even though it was on and off. After we got an apartment, you know, a year and a half later, she tells me she planned my daughter and she planned, you know, So she one. got pregnant and she, you had a baby girl with her? Yes. Back up, yeah. And so then now things aren't working out, and you break up with her? Yeah, for about six months now. You know, we've been off because it's been on off the whole time. It's finally off. Well, if it's finally off, how did she get pregnant? It, she's about six months along now. So, you know, about six months ago. It was the last time you slept with her? Yeah, six and a half months ago, you know, I did. And then two weeks after that, she slept with another guy. And we How do you know she slept with another guy? She told me. That part I don't understand is if she's trying to hold on to you, Yeah. how is she trying to hold on to you by saying, I slept with another guy? That doesn't seem like it would work. I don't know why she told work. me that. I mean, I, I told her I caught her, and you know, someone told me that she slept with them, and she admitted to it, and then she told me the truth about a whole bunch of other lies. So and then a couple of weeks later, you find out that she's pregnant? Yeah. The, well, what happened? You know, she told me she planned my daughter back on, she's pregnant again. And then five, six months goes by, she's pregnant with a boy. Three weeks later, she says she's three weeks pregnant. I'm like, how are you three weeks pregnant? She says, the last four months of my pregnancy, I lost a boy and didn't even tell you. She texts me and says, I'm in the ER, our son don't have a heartbeat, I'll talk to you later. She didn't even care, she didn't call, nothing. She texts you that message? She texts me that. Our boy doesn't have a heartbeat. She, she told me that, and she wasn't even pregnant at that time. She was just okay. lying about it. She faked the pregnancy. Yeah. She told you she was pregnant. She wasn't. You didn't lose a baby, right? I was hurt. I felt it. I thought I did, but she told me after. Okay, right, yeah. but then you found out that it, the whole story was fabricated. Yeah. Now she's pregnant now? She says she is. I don't believe her. She told me she is pregnant now about six months now, and she told me, the other guy, she did a DNA test with him. And she says it's mine. But I'm told you can't even do a DNA test until the baby's born, you know? Until, unless something's wrong with the baby, which there's nothing wrong. She just says that she tested with this guy. She never showed me any paperwork. Nothing like that. And so she's pregnant now? She, yeah, she says she is, yeah. Well, yeah. six months. Yeah. She's got to be showing, right? I haven't seen nothing, no. You haven't seen, she just looks normal? I didn't see no, yeah, she looks normal to me. I haven't seen no papers saying she's pregnant. I didn't see no papers for a DNA test. And so why are you here today? I want to find out if Becca's mine, if she's even mine. Cause your daughter? My daughter. Now yeah. you have doubts, and how old is your daughter? <sighs> you have to think I, about it? I know she, how old she is. How she old is she? She was born in November of seven. Okay. So she's one and a half years old. I, I don't even know her, and I figured it out that fast. Yeah. 
How, yeah, how yeah. is you the father? You don't. I, that kind of makes me wonder about you. How you don't know how old your daughter is? Uh, that's because you know every month I would know how old she is, and I get to keep her, and I haven't got to see her lately, so I am thinking about you know keeping track of it. That's all. I, mean, I just think that's kind of odd. Now you're questioning whether you're the father of your little girl. I just want to make sure so I can get full custody of my daughter. I want to take care of her. And what if you're not the father? If she let me, I will take full custody, no? You'll still take full custody. I want full custody. I love my daughter. <laughs> I got her name on my arm last week. You got Tattoo. a name tattooed on your arm? So my question to you is, why, if things are going bad, and why are you staying with her? Well, what happened, you know, the first month she got pregnant, I was trying to figure out, you know, if it was going to work or if it wasn't going to work. She got pregnant, and, you know, I, I want to do the right thing. I told her, you know, we'll get married. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I said, well, I'll stay with you. I want to work it out. Okay, again, I don't understand it. If she's trying to trap you into the relationship. I didn't know it at that time, though. Oh, she later admitted that. A longer. Way, way after Becca was way born, after. yeah. I didn't find out till way later. But if she wanted to, you to be in this relationship and you asked her to marry her, why wouldn't she just marry you then? I have no idea. She's one minute she wants to be with me, the next minute she doesn't. Do you love sense, her? You know? Do you love her? I don't. Not anymore, no. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter? That you're... Basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you! You told me you cheated I on me. I have never cheated on you! You were given a lie detector to test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Johnny? So what do you think the results are? Um. Do you think she loves you? I think she does, yeah. Is she, is she a good mother to your daughter? Most of the time, yeah. What's she, she's never there for her. She's never there for her. Yeah. She works double shifts. She chooses to. She does not have to. And she doesn't even see her for a whole day. Then she goes to the bar with her at night. Almost every night she's telling me, you know, because that's where they worked or something. She doesn't even put Becca to bed. When I have her, from the moment she wakes up, Every moment of every day, I sit on the floor with her from the moment she wakes up. And I don't take a shower or nothing until she takes her nap. You know, I spend every moment I can with her. Because I love her. So you, say, you would say that you're a good father then, right? Yeah. I've given her everything. And how often do you get to see your daughter? <laughs> up until... Two weeks ago, it was, you know, every week, four days a week, every week I would get to see her. She finds out I'm talking to a girl, you know. A few weeks ago, I was talking to a girl because I want to be happy. She said, you ever talk to a girl again, you are never seeing Becca. I'm going to get child support against you. They're going to take your car away and everything else. As emotional as you just got about the way you care for your daughter, you must miss your daughter incredibly then. Every day. And she, she said, I'm keeping your baby away from you because you're dating other women. So you, she, you're not supposed to ever be with anybody ever again? No, because she wants to be with me. And you now have serious doubts because you found out that a lot during the relationship she's been lying, that she's been sleeping with other men, that you now think that maybe your daughter is not yours. I'm positive she is, but I just want to make sure. You, you just know, want to make sure. And you There's believe, do you believe she's pregnant by you now? I don't know. But you believe she's pregnant? No, I don't. Why would, why would she lie about being pregnant? I mean, that's a pretty serious lie. She, you don't know half the things she's lied about. I understand, Dennis, that you think that she's a liar. But all these times of maybe pregnant, maybe not, lying about it, cheating, sleeping five times telling you that she's pregnant, why, do you, why would you keep sleeping with her, keep sleeping with her, keep sleeping with her? Uh, 
on and I explained it the first time she was pregnant and had the abortion. I'm like, well, I don't agree with that and stuff. And then I'm the second to, time you had a baby? No. The, the second time that she said she was pregnant was like a week later when I was trying to tell her, you know, this is not working. She tells me she's pregnant. I'm like, you know, okay, well, I will stay. We'll figure it out. Then she says she had a miscarriage a few weeks after that. I'm like, you know, I'm consoling her. I want to stay with her for a while, make sure she was okay. And did you see any paperwork or no, anything? No, never, nothing. And the third time, it was only like a month later, I'm consoling her and stuff, you know. A month later, she's pregnant with Becca. I said, okay, well, we're going to do this right, and you're actually going to keep it. She told me, I'm going to keep it. I know you always wanted a kid, you know. She kept her. And she was at her mom's, I was at my mom's. And, you know, we worked, tried to work it out and stuff, and it was working. And, you know, I, I, I listened to my daughter's heartbeat, went to the hospital with her every time and all that stuff. That's when we got the apartment. Then she just comes home one day like, I planned Becca so you'd stay with me, because now I got everything here, you know. And I'm pregnant again with a boy. I told her, that's it. I'm not going to be with her anymore. If she, you know, that's how she is. And I said, well, if, you're, if that's you, I'm not going to be with you, but I will support, you know, I will support the kids. I will do everything it takes. Then she's going to tell me that text. And then she texted you saying, I'm at the hospital. Our boy's heartbeat is gone. And for the last four months, she's lied about it. We had sex unprotected when she said she wasn't pregnant with the boy, I thought she was, you know. I, she can't get pregnant if she's pregnant. So, and then she sleeps with this other guy. <laughs> that makes sense, you know. I guess so. <laughs> but, you know, then she sends me that, and like a week after the tax. That's great two, birth control. She's pregnant already. <laughs> you took a DNA test before the show yeah. about your daughter. Yes, I did. And she took a lie detector test concerning whether she's been lying about all these things. You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? <laughs> Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The way you act. You're here today to talk to Kendall, confront her. Let's bring her out. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter, that you're basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you. You told me you cheated I on me. I have never cheated on you. You told me you did. Bull, Everybody did. Bull, that I is love bull my crap. daughter. I spend every moment of every day with her. Really? I want every full moment custody. of every day? Yes. Really? So when do you work? I have well, a job. But what are your hours? Nine to five. She's in my house more than she is yours. Not anymore. Especially yeah, not, not now. anymore. Because you're denying our beautiful daughter. You don't even I'm know how old her. she is. Why she turned think... 17 months yesterday. Why do you think I'm here? Because know... I want full custody. You're not going to I want to see my daughter. Good luck. You... you don't let me see her because you want me. Just because I won't be with you because I talked to another girl. Is the reason you're keeping her from me? I told you that you because say I, I want you to sign. Girl over her. I want you to sign your rights away. I don't I'm want you in your life. You cheated on me. No, I didn't because we were not together as of the end of July. We lived together. We had sex. We talked. We slept if in the I same room with our daughter. If I remember correctly, I'm a man and I have needs. <laughs> How the freak can you pers possibly even think that I'm just going to be like, yeah, here, see her after what you just sat there and said? I still don't think she's mine because I can't trust you. Thank you. You, you just denied her, Dennis. Connect the dots. Denying is saying I do not want and, her. And you I might want to work on your math because I got pregnant two months after we started dating because you said it's better without a condom. Never was on birth control. You I, were on birth control. I never got on birth control until after I had back. I can't even tell you the birth control, but I won't. You know, at, at first I'm thinking, oh, you're crying. You seem like a nice guy. And then it, you kind of... Figure it out. You're both nuts. <laughs> I mean, how did how did you two manage to stay together as long as you did? She was pregnant, and I wanted. To but like she wasn't pregnant for a year and a half. 
<laughs> she's pregnant so much that she was. <laughs> you know how many times since I met her she was pregnant. <laughs> Since I met her, she was pregnant. I still yeah. like your line of, well, if she's pregnant, she can't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot I got pregnant all by myself. Didn't when you are you when Are you pregnant now? No. You're not? You're not pregnant now. <laughs> no. You I, what? I had an abortion two weeks ago. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You, Why would I want to have a kid with you when you don't want to be with me? That's all you... Explain to me why I would want to have a kid with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. I, I guess you wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. You have a kid. I did plan Becca and there you I'm, how why many, would I, how I'm many not months deny pregnant it. were you? Um, four. You were four months pregnant and you aborted the baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At four months? Yes. It's legal up to six months in the state of Michigan. And why did you, why did you make that decision? Because after trying to work things out with him and just try to be with him to be a family, it just didn't work. And I didn't want to bring another kid into this world that that we're going to do this over, that we're going to fight and argue. Did you do the DNA test on that one when you were pregnant that you told me you did? Yes, I did. Where's the papers? At my house. You never we're showed not to together. me? Well, you, hold on a second. You, the, he is the father of your, your daughter, right? Yes. And you become pregnant again, and you're four months pregnant, and you didn't even consult him what the decision that you're making? He, I texted him. She didn't tell did me you she consult did him? I didn't know did you this ask? I told him I was pregnant, and I said, what do you want me to do? It's your body. You make that choice. No, exactly I did not say that. exactly what you said, and you texted me then. He said, I'm getting abortion. I said, no, have the baby. I can't stop you, but I want you to have the baby, we, you know? But and why? Aside from the fact that it's against your beliefs, why? That's why, because it's against why, my beliefs. Why will right you thing. keep getting pregnant? Just because we slept together. I didn't. I know how people get pregnant. <laughs> but I want to know how you could take it so, you know, you're so cavalier about ending a child's life. And, you know, that's everybody's personal decision. But it, I think it would have more impact on you than what you're showing. Did you lie about losing the other boy? No, I did lose him. So you're but saying you were him, pregnant? I lost him sooner, and it was wrong of me because I should have told him as soon as I found out, which I didn't. And that is, I, I accept responsibility for that. She pretended to be pregnant for four months. No, not four after months. After she lost him, she told me. Were you pregnant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we had slept together um, in end of February. And, um, Did you fake any of these pregnancies? No. So every time you were pregnant, you didn't fake any of them? No. Did you tell him that he can't see his daughter if he starts dating somebody else? Yes. Well, why would you do that? I was hoping he would sign her over. Why? Okay. Are you asked me, I'm going to be honest with no, you. No, I, I understand I, I that, mean, but why, why would he sign over the rights, first of all? He says he loves his daughter. He shows emotion over his daughter. Why would he sign over his rights? Why would you want him to sign over the rights? You're saying you want child custody, you know, uh, I don't uh, child, want child support. support from him anymore. If he'll sign it, I just, I don't I'm want. Not sign over. I just, basically, I don't want him in her life. I want him to move on. Why? She, she wants to hurt me. That's all. <sighs> why wouldn't you want him? If he's the father of your child, why wouldn't you want him in your daughter's life? Because I don't like the way that he is with her. He doesn't like the way you are. She told me because she can't stand to be around me when she drops her off and picks her up because she likes me so much is why she doesn't. Yeah, that's it. You told our producers that the dog ate the DNA? No, I didn't. What are you thinking is all time? Um. That she lied? This is your daughter we're talking about. This is this is somebody you brought into the world, and you're acting this way with each other. Whether you like this, if really you're you're both mad at each other, and maybe you don't like each other, but you really need to look at yourselves and see the way you're acting. This is your beautiful daughter. This is how you treat each other. 
You see the way the two of you are acting? Both of you, both of you should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, you keep saying how bad she is, but you kept sleeping with her, kept sleeping with her. And because you were a good guy? No, you were doing it because you wanted to have sex with her. That's why you kept doing it. <laughs> and, and you're saying, this is the father, but I don't want him in life because I don't like him. I don't want him in my daughter's life. I mean, really, he's not doing anything terrible to you. He ain't beating you. He, ain't, he didn't leave you. He, he's, he wants to go on with his life, and because if he wants to go on with his life, then he doesn't get to see his daughter. Well, what, what kind of reasoning is that? You know who you're hurting? You're hurting your daughter. You're, you're, yeah, you're hurting him, but you're also hurting her. <laughs> I'm serious now. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but why are you acting like a 15-year-old high school girl? Be, I just don't think that he'd be a good role model or father for I really but don't. But that's not your decision. You, uh, ha- you, really? ma- you made a decision to have a baby with him. Maybe that's the decision you should have made before you had a child. <laughs> to me, it sounds like maybe you don't, you're, not, you're keeping your daughter away because you still love him. You still want to be oh, with him. I'm not saying that I don't love him. Well, do but you love him? A, yes. I always will love him. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Put all the, the pettinesses aside and, and, and think about your daughter. What's, what's, I mean, that's what you have to do as a parent. What's best for my child? You, you say you were pregnant, mm-hmm. and you say you had an abortion a couple of weeks ago. Was, was he the father, or you don't know, or is I there a chance? I only slept. What happened was is that um, I slept with a week after I'd slept with Dennis, so I was not sure who the dad was. But Dennis and I weren't together when that happened. So, yeah. um, and then, But he um, could have been the father? Who? The guy? The other guy. Yes. So, yeah. and he well, how about if? Well, here's know. my question. If he could have been the father, why wouldn't you at least have a chance to find out if this, this baby was his? I, didn't, I, I tested him. You tested the baby? Yeah. But you're it saying, came back negative on him, so the only other person I'd slept with was Dennis, so I just assumed. I, I 50, but if it was, 50, one so if, if he was the father, would you have kept the baby? If the other guy was? Yeah. No. So you, ne- you had no intention of keeping any baby, no matter who the father was? When, when um, I found out that I was pregnant and I told him, we talked about it, we were trying to work things out. So I was like, okay, you know what, we'll work it out, we'll have another baby. And then when everything went down again, that's when I made the decision. I had the test because he had asked me to do the test. I had the test when him and I were still together. Did you ask her to have a test? I did. And I paid for it out of my own pocket. Or else You I said that you didn't believe that she had the test and you didn't know anything I, I about the test. I don't believe she did it. I, I have a question, actually, real quick. Can, can I ask you? You can ask any question you want. Did you have an amniotosis on the ba- last baby? No. I'm told the only way that you can get a DNA... It's called an amniocentesis. Did you get that? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Why did you get it? Because that's the way you have to do it. They poke a needle about this long into your stomach to I know how they do it, and they fluid. only do it if something's wrong with a the baby. They don't, not yes, if you pay. Do. Oh, where do you get the black market or something? Because they're yeah, not going to do it, it. They got, unless they something's got those wrong with the baby. They got those tests on the black market. They're not going to do it unless something's wrong with the baby. That's not true. Yeah. Why would they... Endanger a baby because that's a it is it is it's a, a risky. very serious procedure just to determine who the father is. He wanted it. They're not I was trying to make him happy. You were trying to make him happy, so you put your baby at risk. I weighed the risks, and they told me that. Why, if you had no intention of keeping a baby, why even have the test? I was going to until we were not together anymore after the very last time. What do you think the results are? That she lied. Your behavior as a mother is despicable. You admit that you got pregnant just to keep him. Yes, with Becca I did, yeah. 
You needed to get pregnant and have a baby to trap him. It's, I'm just trying to be perfectly clear no, on this. Yes, yes. I'm not going to deny it because I know I, I did it. I mean, there's, I'm not saying it, but I know. I think if you would have just said, hey, you want to have sex, he would have stayed. <laughs> You still want to be with him? Uh, not Would you like to work things out with him? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to. Why lie about it? Well, I'm just asking you. <laughs> okay. You were given a lie detector test, and you were asked, did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? Were you pregnant at all during the last year? Did you have a DNA test done while you were four months pregnant? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? Yes. Well, you'd be wrong. Oh. Only because she refused to answer the questions. <laughs> I could tell you why. Well, yeah, tell me why. Because I was lied to. You were lied to. I was told the reason why I was going to come on here first off from him was try to resolve our issues. The second time was to determine fraternity with Becca and um, if I'd ever cheated on him. That was why I was come, came here. I didn't yeah, realize I was here. You need to get along. So Wouldn't it be fair to know if you faked any of the pregnancies? Wouldn't it be fair to know if you were just recently pregnant? And wouldn't it be fair to let him know if you actually had a DNA test on your baby? Wouldn't That's it be fair just to answer those questions? And that... Private, yeah. Like I said, I wasn't aware of that. That that's what was going to be discussed. These are the issues he had with you. But nobody told me that, and I didn't know he had those issues. I'm not. He's... So you didn't feel the need to prove that you weren't lying. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to assume by human nature that you did fake pregnancies, that you weren't pregnant during the last year, and that there was no DNA test done. Okay. That's that's what I believe. You can't produce any paperwork that you were pregnant, were you? can you? If I went home. If you went home. We asked you for it, and you didn't provide it, right? Um, they asked me for the DNA test. That was it. Did you bring and that? did you provide it? No, Where's because that? I told them I wasn't going to talk about it, which, hello. You told our producers that the dog ate the DNA? No, I didn't. <laughs> You, no, you did tell our producer that the dog ate the DNA test result. No, I didn't. You didn't? Would you be willing to take a lie detector test on it? <laughs> no. No? no? I don't have anything to prove to anybody. You won't take the test? No. Okay. So I'm going to assume that Fine. you did tell our producer that. But you were responsive to a few questions. After the birth of your daughter, did you get pregnant on purpose? No. Are you keeping your daughter away from Dennis because he would not be with you? No. But you already admit it, you, you just, are. He just said that. <laughs> what? Wait. I know, when you start lying, it's kind of hard to keep track of them. <laughs> You told us that you were keeping your daughter away from him because he was starting to see another girl. And I've never been on a date since I've not been with you because of that. You had a girlfriend. No, I have not. Ooh, you but you, you said 10 minutes ago, yeah, you're keeping your daughter away from him because he wants to see other girls. I don't, I, okay. No, that's what you said. I can take a lie detector test. <laughs> Besides one time, did you cheat on Dennis during your relationship? That's not the question I was asked. What question were you asked? I was asked, aside from, had I ever cheated on Dennis, and I said, no. Does it even matter, these results? It doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're a liar. <laughs> so you don't need the, the results when you establish on stage that you're a liar. Did it say that I cheated on him? No, I want to know. 
Because if that's true, that's, that know. is that. Well, I want to know if you told my producer your dog ate your DNA test. <laughs> no, I didn't. You want answers, I want answers. Were you pregnant in the past year? Yes. You were? Yes. Why would not you answer on the lie detector test? Because it, oh. You come out here and talk about it, but then you talked about having the DNA I test. I was told you we weren't going to talk about it. But you did talk Your about it. Your producers lied to me. They didn't lie to you. Yes, you they lied did. to them. No. You're the one. Nobody forced you to come out here just now and talk about whether you were pregnant. Nobody, you could have said, no, I don't want to talk about it. You talked about it. You talked about it with him. You've been talking about it freely up here. So why do you have an issue with it? What, did we trick you into talking about it? No. So what the hell? You couldn't answer the damn question? You, you demand answers from me? The only thing that really matters here is that there's a little girl. And I got two knuckleheads on my stage that I raised them. <laughs> You know, I'm looking at this result, and I don't know whether it's good or bad for you. You know, I'm looking at this result, and I don't know whether it's good or bad for you. You are the father. No. No, that's, that's wonderful. That's fine. You want to take me off stage? That's fine. I just want to go get my daughter. You know what? No. You know what? That, an act of violence. An act of violence. I want to see my daughter. Take me no, you know to what? my daughter. You know I'm not what? even You're talking just, to her. You know what? Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The way you... I may be, but you know what? I don't go slapping my wife around. I don't go Stop. treating no. the father. I don't. Bring Stop. me my daughter. This is, we'll bring you. Stop. You could go. But you know what? What you're doing out there and the way you're behaving, your daughter, when she grows up someday, is going to be ashamed that you act the way you do, the way you lie about things, you, you, the way you don't value human life. It's so, oh, it's just a joke. To tell people they're it a father. Is, it's a joke. It's hilarious. Or they're going to have a baby and you're not pregnant. It's hysterical. Why? How did you How did you become this way? Seriously, what happened to your life? I don't think I'm that way. The way you act, the way you lie, the way you... So, so petty. This You, you bring children into the world with men that you can't stand? Why? When are you going to wake up and realize what you're doing? What am I doing? I mean, really, what am I doing? Besides constantly lying? I don't. You, you, you lied on my stage. I don't think I did. No, you did. Okay, fine. I'll and lie. I think you're lying. Listen, I think you're lying to Dennis. And listen, I understand. Maybe you're hurt. Maybe you want to be back together with him. But you're playing a dangerous game. You're playing a dangerous game. I don't want you to be storming out here and be mad and continue on the path that you're going down. That's not going to be healthy for you. That's not going to be healthy for Dennis. That's not going to be healthy for your daughter. You seriously have to start acting like a grown-up. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm telling you the truth. Your daughter needs somebody stable in her life. I'm very stable with my daughter. Don't you say might, I'm not. Listen, I'll, I'll give you that benefit. Maybe you are. I haven't seen, I don't live around you to see how you act, but I see how you're acting on that stage, and I see how you're acting with the father of that child, and that's not stable. You need to start being honest with yourself, and you need to start being honest with the father of that baby. Do you believe that Dennis loves your daughter? I believe he did. And why, why all of a sudden would he stop? I think he loved her when I first had her, and I think since then, over time, he just basically sees her as something that he has to take care of. It sounds like he's hurt because you're not letting him see the baby, and you admitted that on stage. You did say that. I said that I asked him if he was going to date anybody else. He couldn't see her because I want him to sign his parental rights over. But That's what, why. It's listen, the only reason why I said it. Listen, he's not, no, no man. Why would anybody want him to sign over his rights? If that's his daughter and he loves her, he's not going to sign over his rights. Then why would he even 
why would he accuse me of cheating when I've been nothing but faithful to him and then say that she's not his? Maybe the guy's hurt. It, that hurt the hell out of me. Do you realize everything I've ever done for him? When we were living together and not together, I made sure he had clean clothes. I did his laundry. I made sure when he got home from work, there was a dinner. I packed his lunch. I made sure he was up in time for work. I would make sure he had stuff so he could take a shower, brush his teeth. I made sure our apartment was clean. I took care of our daughter. But yeah, I was a liar. I was a I was hateful. I was mean. I forgot he's a saint. He's never done anything wrong. He's never, when I was pregnant, say, you're fat. You're not attractive in those pants. You need to wear something else. Well, here's, that's exactly what I've been saying on stage for the last hour. Why stay with this guy? Why because keep getting I, pregnant with him? Because you're, you're saying I he's calling him. you fat and everything else, and he's, he does, he's accusing you of lying and cheating. You, I, I, you, you say you love, but what's the love if he's treating you like that? I just loved him. You slapped him. When you found out the results, is it because you don't want him to be the father? Why did you hit him? Because he even doubted it. I was angry and I was, I was kind of, Maybe I he, just wanted to take my anger may, out on him. Maybe he's taking his anger out because you told him you slept with this other guy. We weren't together. He told me I could do whatever I wanted. Okay. It's time people say to each other. You obviously still have a lot of deep feelings for this guy. He obviously has deep feelings for you. It's pretty obvious. You're playing a kid's game with each other. I was going to be nice and see if he wanted to see Becca. I was going <laughs> to... I was just going to be like, after the show, if you want to see her, you can. And now I don't even know if I should. Because he thinks it's a game. He thinks it's funny. But you're, bo but you're both playing it. You're both playing the game, and you both need to stop playing it. That's the thing. Why not act like adults and, and let, him, let him go out there and say, come see our daughter? Go out there and tell him he can come see his daughter. If you want to see Becky, you can see her. I want to see her, yeah. Do you want to see her now? Hold on a second. Your mom's here? Let's bring your mom up. Oh, Lord. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I hit you. Jen? What? Jen? Kendall, the only reason I brought you to the show today is because you always lie to us. You, you're hurting me. You're hurting the grandparent. I love that baby girl. And Dennis loved that baby girl. We are not denying her being his. The only reason we had that done, the only reason we had that done is so we could get partial custody because we want you to be in her life too, even if we get custody. You're not. Well, we'll see about that, but... You won't. I know Dennis has his faults. You have your faults. I have worked on trying to get you guys back together. And you know that. She told me she never wanted kids. You know that? I didn't, I didn't listen, want listen, kids, but I Haven't we moved know. past the he said, she said stuff yeah. now? You, you do need Hold to move on. Hold on a second. Hold on. And at least she was big enough to come back out here and, <laughs> and, was, and says, you want to see your daughter. I do. Now, you need to be bigger than that about what she said to you a year and a half ago. you got to be bigger than that now. Come on. my daughter still. Listen, she obviously still loves you, would like to be with you. But if you're saying that can't be, then that can't be. But then if you don't want to be with her, there's no need to bring up old wounds. You're not trying to work it out anymore, right? Okay, so then whatever she did wrong, let it go. I know it hurts, and this is a hurtful situation, but you're, you're the grandmother here. Yeah, and it's hurting me more than anybody, I think. Right, but you know what? she's not even talking but you to know me. What? But you know what? Here's the deal. He's at fault here, too. I understand that. They're both at fault. But he comes to talk to me about it. He's your son. I understand that. She's not your daughter. She used to come to me when she lived with me for two years. She used to come please, to me. She please, used to call me mom. Please tell me that you're mature enough to know that when couples break up, maybe she's not going to be that close to you anymore. Well, I understand that, but well, she still called me mom two months ago. Okay. She's angry. That made me think that the, she would still mature enough to talk to me. She is in love with your son, and he doesn't want to be well, with her. Well, I know her. that, but how can you be in love with somebody 
and sit there and treat him like that. Oh, Lord. You're going to sit there and ask him to give up paternity just so you don't have to see him? Why don't she give up paternity and let him get have the custody? I really thought by Same bringing thing. you out that this would be a good thing, that you would be the voice of reason, that you would add some mature guidance to the situation, but that's obviously not the case. So you can go and go backstage. Be respectful, be kind to the mother of your child, and you do the same to him. Let's go. Every time you go see your daughter now, you think about what's best for her and not your own feelings. You understand? Yeah. Go see your daughter. Becca, hi, honey. Come here. Hi. Okay, look who's here. Look who's here, it's Daddy. Becca. Say hi, Daddy. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Daddy. Where's Daddy? Can you show Daddy where your nose is? You don't like the cameras. Where's your nose? Where's Go see Daddy. Daddy. The nephew calling out to Russell. Uncle Russell, help me. I believe Russell is a murderer. He left our babies to die. You know there's a fire. You know there's four other kids in there. You had to walk by every one of our kids, Russell, twice to get yours. How were you only able to save two children and not the other four? I didn't murder your kids. Baby killer, you're a liar. You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children, but now you're being accused of abusing them. I busted his mouth, heck yeah, I did. And kicking a five-year-old. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. This whole story is crazy. Beating up little kids. No, I didn't. Hit my nephew. No, I didn't. I, he either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Spit. I wasn't in the room with him when he got hurt. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. I saw blood. Got scared and I panicked. Oh, you did it! You did it! You cried me! He gets so mad, one day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. But I'm not like that. Are you crazy? What are you doing? I don't think that he will pass. He told me that he did it. Russell wants to put his family back together, but his ex, Stephanie, says he's abusive to her and their children. And to make matters worse, Stephanie's sisters, Nicole and Bridget, believe Russell is responsible for the deaths of their children. You see, on February 23, 2005, a fire broke out in the apartment where they all were living. Russell was the only adult home, and tragically, Bridget's son and Nicole's two children were killed. Take a look. Firefighters from eight different departments, mostly volunteers, answered the call that came just after midnight. But the blaze that burned in this old second story apartment on Milroy's Main Street proved too big a battle. With children trapped inside, heavy smoke, intense heat, and a structurally unsound building doomed efforts from the start. By late Wednesday morning, rescue efforts turned to recovery of the remains of three young victims. Six firefighters made their way back into the building, burned so badly officials say it's difficult to determine where the blaze started. It took more than two hours to recover those lost. Now investigators search for a cause. Heat so intense, investigators say it melted a steel support beam. The 27-year-old mother saved three children, including one of her own, four-year-old. Her two-year-old son died, along with her nephews, six-year-old Jacob and two-year-old Joshua. I believe Russell is a murderer. I believe he left our babies to die, so therefore he is a baby killer. I just stood there and I heard a fireman, he hollered at me, he's like, Bridget, Bridget, are you in there? And I said, yeah. He said, you gotta come out. And I said, no, I gotta get my babies out of here. And he said, you gotta get out of there. She tried to get back in to get them, but she tried to kill herself to do it. And then my nephew hadn't made it out, but he was in pretty bad shape. They took him to the hospital. They had to cut him from his chest to his belly button. They had to pull all of his intestines out because he was so hot he was ready to combust. 
Russell had to walk by our kids twice to get to his kids, to get them out. And how he could walk by them and not try to wake them up or, you know, try to get them out in some way. My oldest son was old enough he could have helped. My son had also told me that that night that he tried to tell me that he made it outside by himself. And I told him, I said, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You had help. And he's like, no, Mommy, I went down the stairs, but I couldn't get the door open. So I went back in and I tried to save my brother, but it was too heavy and I fell on my butt twice. My son was more of a man than this man was. Not a minute goes by, I don't think about my kids. I still celebrate their birthdays. In order to do that, I usually send a balloon up in the air to tell them happy birthday. It's not the same, you know? Russell and Stephanie were lucky enough to have their children survive. And now he's treating them like they're dirt under his feet. But Russell is a monster. I have heard him call his kids little bastards. I have seen him hit him. I have seen him knock his youngest one down. I've seen him bloody his other son's lip. A week ago, there was an incident where he had kicked my nephew and left a huge bruise. They have pictures and everything to prove that. I just wish that Stephanie would, would listen to her sisters because we love her. And I know she can do better and her kids deserve better. Stephanie, you have your family behind you. We need you to leave him alone. Just get away from him. We will help you with anything you need. Your kids deserve a better life than that, and so do you. I need the closure. I need the truth, and I need my sister to hear the truth because she wasn't there, and she has taken every word that he says to her that he really tried, and he didn't. All I've ever asked is please tell me what happened while I was not there, and he can't tell me. I want to know, did Russell do everything in his power to get my kids out and my sister's kids out? And I want to know, is my sister done with him for good? I have Nicole and Bridget here. And first of all, I want to say how sorry I am that you lost children in this uh, horrific tragedy. You, you both, you lost two children. You lost one mm -hmm. and you saved one. Um, and you went into the fire, which had to be an incredibly uh, physically hard thing to do. Um, and you suffered burns, I understand. Uh, yeah, um, I actually went in twice. Um, my fuse had blew on my water heater, so I didn't have hot water. And all the kids were laying in the same room, probably like this area right here. And I told Russell, I said, watch the kids. I'm going to run down to the neighbors and I'm going to take a shower. I said, give me 15 minutes. So I went down and I took my shower. I was getting dressed. I walked over to get my shoes and I heard this horrible banging on the door. And so I went over and I answered it. And it was him standing there with two of his kids in his arms. And he said, the house is on fire and the kids are in there. You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children, but now you're being accused of abusing them. I busted his mouth, heck yeah, I did. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. Beating up little kids. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Oh, you did it! You did it! You crazy! But now you're being accused of abusing them. I busted his mouth, heck yeah, I did. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. And I heard this horrible banging on the door. And so I went over and I answered it. And it was him standing there with two of his kids in his arms. And he said, the house is on fire and the kids are in there. So I took So he has his two children while your four are still in there. Right, yeah. right. And he had to, in order to get his children out, he had to walk by our children twice. Once to get to them and once to get out of the apartment. And he didn't try to wake them up, didn't kick them, nothing, just left them. How old were your children? My oldest was six and my youngest was two. And how old, uh, you lost one child, how old was that child? Two years and two months old. And you saved the two month old? He was three years old. Uh, you saved the three year old. Um, but your sister then stays with this guy. 
to even stay with a guy that would even you would even think that could leave a child in a burning building like that is just morbid and just sick. It hurts. It makes me more hurt than angry at her. It's like, how could you? So you're you want some answers for Muscle. I, how about the fact that uh, you say that he's he's lucky enough to have his children live through this and then turn around and abuse them? Yes, he should feel blessed. He gets to keep hearing daddy and he gets to have grandbabies and that's something that was taken away from me. All right, um, we're gonna bring Russell out. Let's bring Russell out. I have a question. Let's do this. I, I do have a question to ask. I'm ready. Um, you were left in charge of how many kids? In the, in there was uh, my two and their kids. There was six. Yeah. Okay. Um, you were able to get your two children out. Right. You run and you go get her, right? Right. She then manages to go back to the apartment and save one of her children. Well, see, that was, it was all a bunch of lies. Is that a lie that what I just said? Yeah, what happened? I woke up. I woke up to this burning fire. What is a lie? She was able to save one of her children, right? Exactly. So what is a lie? But I didn't run to get her. I didn't even know there was anybody in the fire when it broke out. You didn't know our you, kids were there too? You were supposed to be there at like ten or eleven to get your it kids. Don't matter. I, I was there. And home. I told you, 15 minutes, Russell, well, give me 15 minutes. Well, I went to bed. What am I supposed to wake you up You were sitting up watching TV, dumbass. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what, really? Time, okay. what time of day was this? This is, was at night. What it time? Was, like 9, 10 o'clock. Until midnight because I looked before I walked out the door. <laughs> you know, okay. when I worked, I was... You didn't realize you were the only adult in an apartment with six kids? Yeah, I know I was, but she was... So I'm asking... Listen, I'm not going to judge you because I don't know all the circumstances. Right. How were you only able to save two children and not the other four? I, I woke up and I grabbed my kids out of there. I ran to the back but door because there was one. Why wouldn't you grab the other four? I started yelling through the house and nobody answered me. But they're little kids. At midnight, they're going to be sleeping. But what I'm trying to say is that she was supposed to have done been at the show. Hey, but the point is, doing. you know that she's not. You know there's a fire. You know there's four other kids in there. You know they're little tiny kids that... At I midnight, didn't most realize kids... she hadn't been there to get her kids what yet. What about Bridget's kids? Okay, you want to throw that? All right, that's fine. What about her kids? I started yelling for people in the house. You, you had know? to walk by every one of our kids, Russell, twice to get yours. You weren't there. You don't know what I know on. where they were sleeping. I'm the one that was there. I know where they were sleeping because they were sleeping You're right. You were the one that yeah. was there. Yeah, I was the we one We left where... them in your care. We'll, we'll see when this polygraph comes back. My son, at three years old, told me... And out of your own mouth, you said, I heard one of the kids hollering, help me, Uncle Russell. Right? When I was going out the right? back door. That was my That's son. The neighbor's no, door in. That was my son. That's and why you I kicked the neighbor's door in. That was my son. No, you tripped and woke up. That's why he lived. You did, yeah. you did hear somebody yeah. say, help me, Uncle Russell. Yeah, because it was at the, it there was, was only one entrance into this building. Woke up. Right. I and so up. when you heard a, a child calling for you, what did you do? I ran down the steps and took my daughter. They, the neighbor only lived like 20 feet from us. Sorry, front door. Okay, I want to hear him answer this. I want to hear him this. You're crazy. Just answer the question. No. So you hear a, a, your nephew calling for you, and you did what? I ran down the steps with my two-month-old baby girl and took my son down there, kicked the neighbor's door in, which was 20 feet in front okay. of the house. Right. And said, the house is on fire, the house is on fire, and they took off like a bullet, him and her, you know? Uh, Why man. didn't you go back up and get I him? was going back up, but I, I was right behind <laughs> matter of fact, and he told me, don't. Go next door and get help. So I went across the street and was kicking liar, their door liar, in, literally. Liar, liar, and it's liar. in a report, too. Baby killer, you're a liar. Whatever. Everything you have just said Whatever. is a lie. It ain't no damn lie. Now, yeah, it is. You're, no, also, it you're also here because... Fortunately, your children made it through this fire. Right. But now you're being accused of abusing them. I don't Are you abusing my kids, your children? No. Yeah, you do. You didn't bust, you didn't bust your oldest son's mouth. 
Really? Yeah. Are you yeah, a, I did. Are you okay, okay, is that mouth? not abuse? He stand up, stood up and called me a son of a bitch, Steve. Because you let him cuss and you let him just I busted like his that. mouth, heck yeah, I did. You punched him in the mouth? I didn't punch him, I smacked him in his mouth and he started bleeding. He made his lip bleed, you and split how, his lip. How old is he? He's 10 years old. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. And my five-year-old comes to me and says, why didn't you help me when daddy kicked me in the leg? You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children, but now you're kicking a five-year-old. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Did you knowingly allow your girlfriend's sister's children to remain in the house during the fire in 2005? He answered no. Yeah, they're a little angry at you right. because your kids are alive and their kids are dead. Right. Why did you shut the doors behind you? I didn't Why shut you, the doors. I nobody, kicked them in. Nobody. Oh, you did. <laughs> you felt like you did everything you could. Yes, I did. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask everybody to clear the stage and I'm going to talk to Stephanie and then we'll get to these results. Let's bring out Stephanie. How you doing, Stephanie? I'm all right. Um, what's disturbing in this story, and I'm, I keep, it's getting like just going over and over in my head, is the nephew calling out to Russell, Uncle Russell, help me. And he didn't turn around and go back and get the, the voice, the little boy. He just continued down the stairs. And the little boy hoping that, please, somebody help me. Right. Um... Do you think he's responsible for the deaths? I don't. Even though maybe nobody's at fault, there's hard feelings here. Right. People are like, hey, your kids are alive, my kids are dead. <laughs> and these are your sisters. I'd, I'd have burned up trying to get them out, but I wasn't there. You've stayed with Russell. I have, and um, I admit to it, I'm, I was an idiot for it. I've, I've dealt with a lot of things. I mean, we've been together for 13 years. We got four kids together. Does Russell abuse your kids? He has, yes. And, okay, and let's say Russell did everything he could or everything that he was capable of during that fire. Let's put that aside. But you have this miracle that you were able to save your children, and then you abuse them. Why in the world would he do that? I ask him the same thing, and I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Why do you stay with them? I, really don't know. I, just, I try to hope he's going to change, but it just... You hope he's going to change? I, I try to, but it just, it don't work. But, just, like, what kind of abuse does he do to the kids? A week ago, he, I had laid down with a migraine. And my five-year-old comes to me and says, Mommy, why didn't you help me when Daddy kicked me in the leg? And I said... This is a five-year-old. Yes. And I said, well, what is going on? Russell said, well, he was messing with the pumpkins. I told him to stop. He didn't do it. So I busted. I spanked him. Halloween pumpkins, right? Right. Russell kicked your son in the leg because yes. he was playing with Halloween pumpkins? Yes. And a month before Did that, you call the police? Yes, I did. So I left. I asked him. I said, can you take me and my kids to the jail until a family member comes and gets us? Yeah, sure. So me and my kids left, and we're with my aunt now. Are you not with Russell? No. You don't live together? No. He wants you back? Right. And your response to that is? No, because he's never going to change. He calls the kids names. I mean, he calls your <laughs> he calls your kids. <laughs> um, let's bring your sisters back up. Stephanie, I would give my life for you and them kids. You know what? I about did for ours. I'd give anything. To have you and the kids with us. That we are behind you no matter what. We're here to help you. We just wanted to have answers. Can you understand that? 
Oh, I know. Okay. We don't want we to happen to your kids. Okay. Yes, we don't want that to happen to your kids. That ain't no more. Good. So you're done with it? You're never going back, right? No, I told you guys that. <laughs> Let's bring out Russell. <laughs> Stephanie, what's going on? This is crazy, man. I'm sorry. You know everything that went on. And what? Okay. I know, but you know what? I, I have a question to ask. Um, why did you kick a five-year-old boy in the leg? I didn't kick him. And she's saying she, she, she's saying you did. She was asleep. Oh, okay. so she's lying? Yep. Your boy's lying? I did not kick him. Your boy's lying. I nudged him with my foot. You after, nudged him after with After I foot. busted his ass, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I you did. Know, <laughs> why do you talk to him do the you, way you do? Do you call your kids a I have, yeah. When I hold on, you. hold on. I, I see, I, you know, and I get mad at my kids too. I would never in a million years call my children names. Why wouldn't I do that? Because they're my children. And it's up to me to raise them, to guide them, to teach them right from wrong, and I don't know how much my kids would think of me if I'm saying <laughs> So if I'm capable and I have enough understanding of my brain that I'm not going to do that to my children, how come you don't think that way? That's why I'm here, Steve. That's why I'm here. That's what well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Help. You're here for what? To get help with that. To get help. Yeah. You need help not to call your children names? What, how am I going to help you with that? You just, you just don't understand, Steve. What I don't understand. Home. You're admitting that you do it. Yeah, I have. You know what? There's some kids dead up here, which is just, you know, total tragedy. And then the kids that are fortunate enough to get through it, they got a father that abuses them both physically and verbally and probably mentally. The fact of it is, no matter what these results are, the little boy's voice probably haunts you every day of your life. Help me, Uncle Russell. Help me, Uncle Russell. But the, the, the fact is, no matter what happens on this stage, you're just, you're just a bad guy. You're just a bad dad. That's what you are. Okay? I'll say this. I'm glad you're not my neighbor. Russell, you came here and we asked, did you knowingly allow your girlfriend's sister's children to remain in the house during the fire in 2005? He answered no. Beating up little kids. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Oh, you did it! You did it! You cried me! Did you knowingly allow your girlfriend's sister's children to remain in the house during the fire in 2005? He answered no, and he told the truth. Exactly. Exactly. I love them kids, man. We took care of them kids, didn't we? And I now, love them and kids. And now look how you're taking care of your kids now. I don't be my kids, man. You bust them in the mouth. Yeah, because he called me, stood up and called me a son of a bitch. How about the kid playing with the pumpkins? He was picking them up and dropping them, picking them up and dropping them. It's a pumpkin. But let's find out about this. Did you hit your son in the car last month with excessive force to shut him up. And he said, yeah, he did. Do you discipline your children to intentionally hurt them? And what did you answer? No. You said yes. You confessed. You did. No. Is this uh, a lie? Smack them, yeah. yeah, you said yes, yeah. right? Let's go on. All right. Did you kick your son with excessive force last week? What'd you say? No. No. And it came back that you didn't tell the truth. Okay. You're a real tough guy, huh? Daddy's really wearing a belt. Daddy knows how to dish out discipline. Yeah, this is crazy. This whole story is crazy. You get, to, hold on, hold on. You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children. And then what do you do? You bust them in the mouth, call them all kind of names, and kicking a five-year-old. I wouldn't even kick a dog, and you're kicking your own child. 
The greatest thing about doing the show is I get answers from people. I get to expose people. And I don't have to expose you. Your own answers, the way you talk, the way you treat your wife, the way you treat your kids, you expose yourself. And I hope everybody back home from where you are sees you and just feels the same way I do. Man, I'm glad that guy's not my neighbor. Because you certainly wouldn't be kicking my doors down trying to save my kids. Get the hell off my stage. <laughs> Um, so the two sisters that lost children in that fire, I hope, <laughs> I hope it helps in some way that you know that maybe he didn't intentionally just leave your kids there. Um, but the truth of it is, I believe when you lose a child, nothing's ever going to make you feel better. You've got to go on with your life. No, no, You've got to enjoy go. it. Um, you have to take care of the kids that uh, you do have. Um, but I hope that you're able to go on and and find comfort in your family and each other and love each other. Um, for the two sisters, I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. Thank you for coming on. No need to sit down. Show's over. Pick a door time, right? And, I, I, you know, I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I am, but I think you're going to go back. I, I, I'm just telling you. I think, you know, eventually he's, Russell's going to come and, you know, do something and you'll, oh, I love you, and you're going to go back and your kids are going to pay the price for it. Um, but this is pick a door time, and I do like to see, you're showing the world, you're showing the people back where your home is. What are you going to do? Are you going to go back to Russell? Or are you walking out that door and say, you are never going to touch my kids again? That's exactly what I'm Well, doing. let's see. Beating up little kids. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Oh, you did it! You did it! You cried me! He gets so mad, one day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. But I'm not like that. Are you crazy? What is that? I don't think that he will pass. He told me that he did it. Tatiana believes her two-year-old nephew was abused, and she's accusing her sister's ex-fiancé, Chris. Chris admits that he may have hurt the boy by accident, but says he's not an abuser. But Tatiana says that Chris confessed to hitting the boy in the mouth, and she's here for answers. Take a look. I'm here to uh, prove to my ex-fiancé, Tina, I did not abuse her son. I accidentally busted his lip while he was throwing a tantrum and I take full responsibility of it. The second incident, when he was in my care, I had nothing to do with it. I explained to her that her son and her um, little brother was playing in the room while a box break fell on him, but she believed that I punched him in the mouth. Because of this, we no longer in a relationship. We haven't been together for two years, but I still come around to take care of her younger son, the one that calls me daddy. Ever since we broke up, I've been trying to get back with her. You know, I begged, I pleaded, I cried. You know, but she still, in the back of her head, felt like I punched her son in the mouth. I'm still in love with Tina, unconditionally. I can't live without her. I would never do nothing to harm her son and her younger son. I would still love to be in their life and take care of them and love them, just like I love their mother. I'm hoping that after today, that I will get my family back. But if not, I want to deal with the consequences and still be there for them three, no matter what. Um, Tatiana, why are you here? Steve, I'm here to find out if Chris abused my nephew. And what, what happened that makes you think that he abused him? Well, my oldest sister and my sister Tina went to take a walk to the store. It was really cold outside. We all thought that Chris was a good man. So we figured, okay, let's leave the kids with Chris. So when they got back from the store... Chris was all frantic. Oh, he had to tell Tina something. The baby fell out in the tantrum. He was trying to keep him quiet. He, How old was the baby at the, the baby time? was two years old, and one was 10 months. The baby fell out in the tantrum. He was trying to keep him quiet, and he was shushing him, and he put a sippy cup in his mouth and accidentally bumped his, bust his lip. I'm a mother. 
you have to shove that sippy cup in his mouth or smack him in his mouth to bust his lip. Ain't no way. So my sister was going to call the cops. She was having a fit. And my older sister told her to calm down that I think that you're overreacting. He haven't been around kids. Maybe it was an accident. So she thought about forgiving him. They've been together for a year and a half. So we thought, okay, nothing happened in that year and a half. So they was going to do good. So me and my sister decided to take a walk to the store. We was going to leave the kids with Chris. When me and my sister got back from the store, my nephew lip was busted real bad to the point that there was blood coming out of his mouth. His teeth was... The quick. same nephew? Yes. And now how old is he now he when is, this happens? When this happens, he's like four years, four, like about to be four. And his teeth is pushing his gums. We brought him to the dentist, and his teeth is dead. They said his teeth was dead. Chris said that the little, my little nephew pushed a box spring that was against the wall onto my oldest nephew. The two-year-old pushed a box spring yes. on a four-year-old. Yes. And the box spring, I could hold it with my pinky. It's, it's not even heavy. So he either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Why would he hit a little kid like that? I really don't know, but I know two months after that, I asked him, did he hit my nephew? He told me no. Then I told him, since you're so in love with my sister, if you hit my nephew, you lying is not going to make it better. You need to tell her the truth. He started crying and told me that he did it. And have you ever talked to your nephew? Yes, I did talk to my nephew. He told me that he hit him. How did, what is your sister? You talked to your sister? What does she believe? I talked to my sister. My sister don't know what to believe. She really don't. Is she still dating him? or No, she's not. She's she taking her son's side. She broke up with him. She told him to take a lie detector test. Now he's here to take a now lie detector test. Now he's here to take a lie detector test after all this time. What if he passes? If he passed the lie detector test, I will apologize. I don't think that he will pass. He told me that he did it. And that's what I believe. I believe my nephew. Let's uh, bring Chris out. You no, told me that you hit my nephew. No, I, I don't believe first you. All, first at the table all, that first night, all, you told night, me that you hit my nephew. Crying, I don't everything. believe you. I'll tell you about the first Chris, you're a liar. Second of all, you're a liar. All you do is think about Tina. You're trying no, to be daddy. You're trying to play daddy. Because you're trying to get close to Tina. I don't believe you. He gets so mad, one day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. But I'm not like that. Are you crazy? What are you doing? Who called his dad? And we asked him, did you hit Tina's son on the day the matches fell? He said, no, matches hit. What do you think your test came back to? Two years ago, this happened. The boy ended up with a bloody mouth, right? Yes. What happened? I was upstairs. I heard a boomer came downstairs. After that, I brought him upstairs. I was came to him. He was dropping down on the floor, having a, temp a temper tantrum. He's two months. He's two years old. Yeah, so at the same time, I got mad and I said, stop doing that. As I was hushing him up, I happened to be a little too harsh on him. And you too Yeah, I, I was a little too harsh on him. Then when did they, you feel uncomfortable that this isn't even your child? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. And then after that, when she came home, I went straight down there and confronted her about it. Because I take that in high consideration with kids. I love kids. I was sad about it. I was scared. You know what I mean? Why were you scared? Because I've never been through that tra transaction. And I'm not like that. That's not my lifestyle. Chris, I don't even I confronted, I confronted my son's mother when she got home. But then, but then she said, hey, I want you to take a lie detector test. Yeah, and at the same time, when, um, when she said that, I was willing to do that. And you didn't. And um, I would say, We're gonna, I'm going to go and pay for it out of my pocket and do it. Why we, should we do it nationwide? Because people, you know, nobody needs to be in our business. Exactly. And then at the same time, she was with somebody. And that hurt me so bad where I was depressed. You know, I messed up. You know, I met to my wrongs, and I lost everything I ever had, my family. And, and you broke up, right? Yeah, we broke up. After the first incident? Yes. Okay. So you've been broken up for two years now. Mm -hmm. So the second time, now the kid's four years old, mm -hmm. and he gets a busted mouth again. I cleaned out me and my ex-fiance room. I had the box spring against the wall. I left the boys to play in the room, whatever. I was in the kitchen listening to the music, you know, and cleaned out the kitchen. I was trying to get the house ready, have a nice hot meal for us all so we could eat like a family, watch movies. All of a sudden, I heard a scream. He comes out with his hands in his mouth. You know what I mean? He pulled his hand off his mouth. I saw blood. I got scared and I panicked. You know? Why? Because I didn't know what happened. I don't know who listened <clears throat> to music and cleaned out. The my kids time, are in the back room I by themselves. I catered to him and whatever as a stepfather I supposed to be to him. But you were scared and, and nervous because he had a bloody mouth. Yeah, and I was like, oh, snap, she's going to blame this on me. And Did then, you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. I'm not like that. I went but if you fail it, it means you're beating up little kids. And if kids. you fail yeah. it, you're going to jail. 
Um, But you feel pretty confident that you're going to tell the truth, right? Yeah, I just want to tell nothing but the truth. Right. I, you know and I mean? you want uh, you want Tina back. I do, but if, I mean, if it's in God's will. But if she made that decision not to take me back, that's something I have to deal with. Okay. Well, let's meet your sister, Tina. First of all, when I came home... I, you were washing dishes. Why would you wash the dishes? If you panic, why didn't no, you call the, why did you call ambulance? And nobody was trying to go out and the child get hurt, you rush to the hospital. Why didn't you run for that one? Uh, I did. I was no, you outside did not. No, you did not. Yes, I did. I had to bring my child to the hospital. You, you I had you to bring my child to the hospital. You brought him late at night. No, what you mean I brought him late at night? I brought my child to the hospital. What are you talking about? What you call it? I was trying to get somebody to answer. You know what? You know what? You sound really sick. I didn't hear you. You were carrying some dishes. I was doing things. I came to town. And you were doing wasn't there. You were doing dishes for her when she was seeing somebody else. No, 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 I was catering to my stepson. Catering to him, Chris? Catering okay. to him? Do you love this guy? You should get him help. Do you love this I have guy? love for him. Do you want him back? It's been so long. I don't think so. I don't know. I, he took too long to take this test. You know what I mean? Right. But Two see, years it, a long it, time. It's not about him loving me. It's about my son. Do you think he's capable of beating up kids? I don't want to believe it, but when you talk to him, he, he cracks under pressure. I think he, he gets so mad. Can. One day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. If he passes this lie detector test, because baby, you know, Maybe he does pass. Would you take him back? I can't say. I, I mean, I don't know. It's been too long. I don't know. I, my heart might change. When's the last time you were with him? You mean with him, like, as far as dating him? Sexual. Mm, three, like, three years. Oh, it's been that like, long. Yeah. Has it been yeah. that long? Eight or nine months. You're Eight or nine you're months. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. We're those three years. We you're both a liar. Yes, we have. Let's get to the side. We have this. 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 We have done in your dreams, in your dreams, you out. in your dreams. Maybe you you have. out. You okay. want, you want to do something. Mm. You're obsessed with my sister. You want to do something. Not. I'm gonna use you're we out. have. You don't remember. It's not even about that. Yeah, when, not. when you were hitting that wall, you probably didn't mean it. Hit it hard enough to break your own hand, right? Well, I didn't expect to break my hand. At all. Right. You wouldn't want to do that, right? No. Couldn't you have used maybe a little more force than you thought on a little boy and cracked his mouth open? I be honest with you, I didn't hit him hard like that. But yet. you did hit him. I was a little harsh. I was a little too harsh, and I confronted yeah. her when she came home. I mean, you're a big guy. Yes. Oh my God. And we asked him, did you hit Tina's son on the day the matches fell? You said no. Yeah. Matches hit him. Did you cause those injuries to Tina's son's lip and teeth by hitting him on the day the matches fell? And you said, you said no. no. Have you ever hit Tina's son with excessive force and injury? No. You said no. What do you think your test came out of Have you ever hit Tina's son with excessive force and injury? No. You said no. What do you think your test came back as? Pat? No. You failed everyone. Oh my God! <laughs> What, um, how many times did we give you the test? Uh, two times. Two times. What can I? Um, and you failed it two times. Oh my God. Uh, okay. How did I fail? Yeah, I wasn't. Hold on. You did it. You did it. You crazy. You crazy. Something wrong with you. I'm like being honest. When I was in the kitchen cleaning up, he was in the room with his son. Hey. And then all of a sudden he started you know screaming. What? I was in there. Hey, you know what? Crazy. Hold on. You do it again. Hold on. Um, and I think about like. How it is to be I'm tough. Right How it is to be tough, tough guy with a little kid. I'm not no tough I'm guy. I'm gonna show you, you two year old. I'm gonna show you, you four year old. Bam! I did not do it. It's that. easy to be tough yeah, with kids, I'm right? I did not. It's easy to be tough with kids. I'm a 
do the test again. Do it again and what? I'm going to hope and pray that the results are different? No. Beating up little kids. I understand what you're saying, sir. But I you understand? I, I you in, understand? I was in the room with him when he got hurt. You know I was what? in the kitchen. You know what? I know the greatest you know. thing is now, there's a little boy out there that's four years old, and oh the <laughs> that punched him twice in the mouth oh is not going to be around anymore. Get off my stage. The good thing is you broke up with this guy. You haven't been with him. Um, you got your answers today. Take care of your kids. Be careful who you let watch him. Good luck to you. <laughs> Kelly's teenage daughter claims that Rob molested her. But Kelly's sister, Stacy, used to date Rob, and she believes Kelly is fabricating these accusations. The lines are drawn, and these sisters have chosen sides. Now, they need a lie detector test to find out the truth. These results and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. molested my daughter. You want to come out of here and run your damn mouth? Who comes, sir? This is a teenage girl saying on three occasions you pit her down, you force yourself on her. I don't know why. He loves kids. Everybody in the world knows you're a freaking pervert. I was there when you wasn't for your kids. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her, kissed her, put her on the ground, yeah, I believe my daughter. You know you did it. Let's find out. It's way too many details for her to just have made this up. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own body. I didn't do it. She described details. I don't care. She that gave that details about you, not me. She's also accused of molesting your daughter. It was an investigation and they closed it. But in this incident, it never happened. I don't trust my kids. What if she fails to lie to touch the I would want custody of my kids. Both parents, accusations of child molestation. She'd come to me on October 9th of last year, said, Mom, we need to talk. I said, I'm here. What do you want to talk about? And she said, do you remember the party we had on July 4th? I'm like, yeah. She said, Rob did some things to me. And I said, what did he do? And she said, Mom, he grabbed me, threw her against the camper, kissed all over her, rubbing all over her body. I said, are you serious? Come on, you know, don't tell me this. You know? And I just start breaking down and crying. She goes, that's not it, Mom. And I go, what do you mean that's not it? She goes, well, it happened two times at Aunt Stacy's too, which is my sister. So he's done this three times to my daughter. At Stacy's, he's, she was in the living room. He kicked her feet out from underneath her, got her to the ground, pinned her to the ground, kissed all over her, rubbing all over her, put his hand down there again, tried to get up. He wouldn't let her up. Finally, when she did get up, she tried to go up and get Stacy. Stacy would not get up. She didn't call me until after the next day, but she never even told me until October 9th, said she was too scared. Your daughter was too scared. My daughter to was too scared. She was afraid to break up the family. She was afraid me or her dad wouldn't believe her. You know, this is my sister. This is her uncle, more or less. We've known him for nine years. How can you do this to my daughter? I mean, um, I just don't understand. When your daughter came to you and told you these things happened, what did you do? I called the police where I live. And, and what happened? <laughs> Nothing. They claim it's under investigation. But the person he lives with... So Were you what? able to confront him? My husband confronted him on October 9th, the day my daughter told me. He denied it, called her a liar. My sisters called her a liar. If my daughter is such a liar, then why, when they all go out on their parties and their bike rides, my daughter's the top of the subject? My whole town knows about the situation. They come up to me also. I heard your daughter... Come on now. She's a teenager. You know, you ain't got nothing better to do but sit in a bar and talk about me and my kids? Really? Um... What did your sister say about all this? She, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I coached my daughter into making up this story to ruin her life, to ruin her and Rob. Why would you? Now, from what I understand, you guys were all very close. We were. And very, very close. Why would you want to destroy this? I wouldn't. I mean, I, I, I adore my family. You know, we always used to hang out, cookouts, picnics, everything. You know, but 
when your child tells you something, as a mother or father, you tend to believe your child. You know, and as a mother or father... As a mom and dad, you also know when your child is lying. I do. You know, my kids get that grin on their face like you wouldn't believe. And my thing is, he molested my daughter. Okay, granted, it wasn't rape. He didn't have Zach blue sex. He didn't do the whole thing. But, but... Uh, listen, no father's going to be happy hearing what your daughter said. Exactly. Um, what was your relationship like with uh, your sister's boyfriend? It was, you know, okay. It wasn't the greatest. I mean, Ron was a very funny, outgoing guy. Very flirtatious. He flirted with everybody, even younger kids, you know. And looking back now, you're like, oh, that's why he was calling her sexy. Oh, that's why he tickled that little girl until she laid on the ground. And what guy goes up in here on a little girl? Did you see tickle- this? Oh, yeah. And what did you say to him? We didn't say nothing at the time because who thinks, you know. Well, when he makes a little girl. I think but I would we would say, say you know, Rob, enough. That's enough, Rob. Stop, Rob. No, it's funny. I like to see her giggle and laugh. I'm like, really? She just. You know? Do you, do you think he's capable of doing something like this? Yes, I do. And I think he's done it to other people, too. Um, what do you hope happens today? The truth. The truth. I'm yeah, nothing truth. but a liar. My daughter's nothing but a liar. We're no good. This will show who's lying, who's telling the truth. I know my daughter's telling the truth. She would never lie to me. Do you think if, if, if he does fail this lie detector test that you and your sister will be able to no, catch things up? never. Never again. She, I put my daughter's life into her hands. I let her go to her house thinking my sister would protect her. You know, and I, she comes home and tells me she was molested. Let's bring out your sister, Stacy. Let me tell you something, Kelly. Let me tell you. You had to come you out and have a in your mouth. You bleed in the store. You get it straight. You just said I laid in my room and I didn't do it. I want a damn brain So what? Just that so what? I didn't so want to okay. help your daughter. It's okay. I just got brain surgery. So? Where were you? So what do you want? Sit where with were you? I was at home. No, yeah. Where were you at the hospital when I was having brain surgery? This is but not you about you. But she expects me to get out of it's bed. It's not about you. I've got 32 tumor. staples in oh, my head. Well. Where were you for your Good. daughter's Hold sake? On. She's scared of him. You don't do that. If you're scared of the guy, you're not going to go around them. What if he fails this lie detector test? Then I'll help you put the handcuffs on him. This is a teenage girl saying on three occasions you pinned her down, you forced yourself on her. I don't know why. What if he fails this lie detector test? Then I'll help you put the handcuffs on him. Is that true that she had brain surgery? She had a tumor, yes, and they went in to take the tumor Twice, out. Twice, Steve. What's that Twice. got to do with anything? Well, maybe that's why she didn't get out of bed. Duh! Or... On seizure medicine. My daughter was there to help her. Medicine. And she never came well, upstairs. that makes... Boo! Steve. Boo! That, that makes... Who cooked your food? Cleaned your house? That's a pigsty. Well, it wasn't you. you, you what, was it your daughter? Yeah. Let's get and to the spot. And between getting molested Let's by your Let's get to the bottom of it, Kelly. And between getting molested You're just as much of a... She is. Yeah, Who is. coached her? Go believe Why does she follow friend. him down the bike night every Wednesday, so Kelly? We were there, too. Be a mother. We were there. Be a mother. I'm the one sick, not you. You Your be a damn mother. Your sickness has nothing to do with it. It does when you do this. It's on my living room floor. Sympathy, sympathy. You're, you're, it's you're about pathetic. You. It's about you're my pathetic. daughter. You're pathetic. It's about you're, my daughter. You're pathetic. Um, you're pathetic. Before this incident happened, you weren't this way to each other, right? It's no. been off and on like this constantly with her. Why? Because she thinks she's better than everybody else. Yeah, okay. She thinks that her life revolves around her. Her kids go wherever they want yeah. to go to do. Okay. She's never there. Yeah, that's why never. I have a life with my kids. Do you what have do you, a life with yours? Yeah, what do you do for a living? Does it matter? Not a I damn thing, thing but home sit home. at home. I Not a home damn home. thing. But I have yeah. anything to do with I'm, my I'm kids. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage just for a moment, and then we'll talk to you again. Um, why would she make something like this up? I believe that her daughter, her daughter's been infatuated with Rob from day one at six years old when I first got with him. It was cute. It was, you know, sure. it was always, it always is. Little girl crush. And he, yeah, and he loves kids, boys, girls, it doesn't matter. He loves children. He is my ex-boyfriend. Some people boyfriend. are just like kids. Yes. 
He I'm, is, I'm not saying that right. about him. He's my ex-boyfriend. And I would not be standing here today if oh, I thought Oh, you're not even together with no. him? No. Why did you guys no. break up? Because of them. Because of her and her husband and the whole situation in the summertime. She, she didn't never bring up my house till. Do you two believe weeks this ago. is possible that no. your boyfriend uh, maybe kissed her, no doubt, pinned no, her down? Never. He no, didn't do this. Never. But we knew. We knew because she's had this infatuation with him. She, she says things that shouldn't come out of a girl at that age. Like what did she say? Well, for instance, when she gets of age, she's going to take him away from me. Oh, she said things Absolutely. like Absolutely. Anybody else hear this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Another family member has heard it. And not to mention, if she, she keeps bringing up the fact that he, she's scared of him. If she's so scared of him, why is she walking down to bike night to see him every, every Wednesday? If you're so scared of him. Um. <laughs> you don't do that. If you're scared of the guy, you're not going to go around him. What if he fails this lie detector test? Then I'll help you put the handcuffs on him. I'll help our police department put the handcuffs on him. I don't believe the test. Oh, if he, if he fails, could you possibly work your relationship out with your sister? Hell no. no. Okay, that's fair enough. I was sick, and she was not never there for me, and I don't, I don't need someone like that in my life. Let's bring out Rob. Yep. How you doing, Rob? Good, how are you? Um, you were in a relationship with uh, uh, Stacy. Yes. And uh, it got so bad with these allegations that you two broke up over it. Yes. Okay. A um, little uh, teenage girl is saying on three occasions you pinned her down, you forced yourself on her that you you stuck your tongue in her mouth. Um, did you ever do any of these no, things? No, no. Why do you think she's saying this about you? I don't know. We, we used to be real good friends. We was all real close. And then me and, me and Stacy broke up. And then now this is what I'm hearing. Exactly why did you guys break up? Over, the, over them. Over them. Yeah. The drama. About these allegations. The drama. Drama. Not just these allegations. Drama. She's Weren't you guys drama. once all tight, though? Yes. Didn't you During guys? the summertime, before all this stuff started coming out, we were. And it got to be an issue. Um, you know, him and her husband weren't coming home decent hours, and they I was weren't sick. coming home at decent hours. Right? Oh, you were out going out drinking going out with to, oh, her at her the husband. bar where yeah. I'm at every week. But her husband was at the bar every day with him, and that was okay. And I'm home sick with tumor, going through radiation. Uh, uh I'm done. If I can do this on my own, with having a boyfriend, I'll be by myself and do it on my own. This isn't like a lot of stories we do, where it's like a six-year-old girl or five-year-old girl. This is a teenage girl. Mm -hmm. um, do you drink a lot? I used to. Did you drink a lot when these occurrences, uh, allegations were made? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you were drinking a lot. You never got so drunk where you were like, you know. No. You are like, yeah, yeah, she looks was, good. Uh, no, I was still able to ride my bike home, so. I wasn't well, that, that doesn't mean anything. Well. I mean, <laughs> there, me, there, to me there, it is. Well, that shows to me that you have really bad judgment. That was one of our biggest problems. If you come home till three thirty in the morning, drunk off the Right. I mean, if you're that drunk, where you, you get don't on get a motorcycle? Like I have a motorcycle too, and I wouldn't have one beer and get on my motorcycle. I, I would be like, know. no way, because I don't want to kill myself. Right? It's bad enough in a car. Motorcycles even ten times worse. Right. right? So you'd get drunk and then get on your motorcycle and drive home. So if you're not thinking clearly enough to do that, wouldn't you act inappropriate with a uh, teenage girl? No, I know, I know, I wouldn't do that. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her, kissed her, put her on the ground, yeah, I believe my daughter. We asked Rob, did you ever intentionally sexually touch Kelly's teen daughter? He answered no. And the results for your lie detector test. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her, yeah, I believe my daughter. You ever call this teenage girl sexy? No. Never? No. You ever call her sexy? 
No. Well, I mean, you were around him a lot when he was I around now. There's okay. No, no. Okay. He avoided her at all costs every chance. She used could to follow it. me to the bathroom, and then I had to lock the door yeah. to okay. the point because but, she kept okay, banging on. Okay, the point around. is though, she's a teenage girl. But no? we went to Kelly. We went to my sister and told her, "You've got to get a handle on this. The girl's not thinking right. She needs counseling." Any reason she why she, help. the teenage girl, would make this up? I don't know why. How has these accusations affected you? It's, I'm very upset, and I'm just. And is that what caused you to stop drinking so much? No, I I, I quit drinking when uh, me and her split up. Why is that? It's because I was trying to get her back. Oh, so you, are you still trying to get her back? Yeah. Okay. That's a good start. Um, let's bring out your sister back out. Let's bring Kelly back out. You lying. How you know you? what you did? Don't swear. Don't swear. You know did you never call her sexy no you're a liar okay you call all no. the kids no. sexy no i did not oh are you serious yes you never called no kids sexy no oh you never tickled them till they fell into the ground prove it. come on oh, we're gonna prove it. her mother you were sitting right there you shut Get up, up and you do shut something up. All you're the mother it's you're about them. the your, mother. Uh, your it hus- is about me. Your husband, your good friend, right? Not Ron, no more. Ron's good friend. Ron, let's bring him out. My kidney tell. Okay, let's start. We're not going to fight. Right? Excuse me? My kidney tell. Absolutely. We've been telling it up for months, listen, Ron. Listen. Don't try to be you a dad start, now. You don't start, don't try to be a dad now. You start the story. Uh, this this tumor thing for pity for you? This ain't about you. You shouldn't it's even be here. Pity? You should not and be I'm here. I'm here because you said it happened in my house. You that's, why that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Oh, oh, oh he's okay. the yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I was there when you were there. I was there. I was there at your house with Trenton. You don't drink. You don't drink. You wrecked your butt drinking when you was out. So did you. quit. he quit been friends with him for a long time, right? Eight plus years. Eight plus years. You guys went bike riding and stuff together, Get right? everything together. Okay. Good friend? At, I at, thought. Before this happened, good friend? Yes. Okay. Good friend. I would never think in my He's mind, our house. even closely in my mind, that he would do anything. So you believe that he did this to your daughter? Yep. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her and kissed her, put her on the ground. Yeah, I believe my daughter over him any day. Um, you hit. Why did he take national? Why did he take national television? I said, let's go to Pennsylvania, take the lie detector. We did. Yeah, we did. It. You got to come on TV to make him we look like a did. fool. Okay. And you're we'll gonna look like, like a fool like when it comes out. He's We're a pervert. Okay, you're gonna look like a fool when you cut when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. How, how are you gonna feel now? Yeah. How you gonna feel that? How you gonna feel that? I know it's gonna come out. No, you know you don't. Let me ask a question. I think everybody agrees on stage, even her, if he fails this, that everybody wants to cooperate with the police and see him go to jail. She'll go right home with my freaking plan. Shut up. She's not with him now. She says that. He was just there last week. But if he were to pass this test... I'll apologize to him on TV right here, right now. Yeah, on your, on your knees, knees, right? Oh, he ain't getting oh, on his knees. Get on knees. I don't think apologies need to be made on your no, knees. No, because but... nobody's going to make one of me because I don't want none from her. And what would you do if he passes this? I'm nothing. I just, no. okay, I'll deal with my daughter when I get home, but I'm done with both okay, of them. Fair we'll enough. see. Let's find out. <laughs> You're saying if you pass this lie detector test, this might be another thing to help repair this relationship yes. for you. Yes. Okay. Hey, would you be open to that possibility? I don't know. That. I don't know. Okay. I couldn't honestly. Well, the one thing is, point. you know, she suffers a brain tumor. Yeah. And you're out drinking. She it's needs not your about help. Her tumor. Mind your business. Stay okay. about you. It's about my daughter. Mind That's why business. I'm here. Kelly, uh, you want sympathy? It's not about you. You. Uh, we asked you to take a lie detector test. I'm sure I took one. We asked you, are you fabricating? a story that Robert molested your daughter, and you answered no. Did you coach your daughter to say that Robert molested her? You answered no. Did your daughter really tell you that Robert molested her? You answered yes. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Now what?
It doesn't mean your we daughter didn't lie. My daughter has you no know, reason to lie. It, it ain't over yet. It ain't over there. yet. Yeah. It ain't about you, so you can just go in the back. In times of extreme intoxication by your boyfriend, did you ever see him do anything really inappropriate? You're like, ooh. With adults. With She's adult liar. women. Oh adult God, women. A liar. Never children. She's lying. Ever. We asked Rob, did you ever romantically kiss Kelly's teenage teen daughter? You replied, no. Did you ever intentionally sexually touch Kelly's teen daughter? He answered, no. Did you ever ask Kelly's teen daughter to give you oral sex? You answered no. Did you ever stick your hands down Kelly's teen daughter's pants? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test came back all the same. And they came back that you, you're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She's also accused of blasting your daughter. It was an investigation and they closed it. But in this incident, it never happened. Did you ever intentionally sexually touch Kelly's teen daughter? He answered no. Did you ever stick your hands down Kelly's teen daughter's pants? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test came back all the same. And they came back that you did not tell the truth. I'm curious as to your reaction to his lie detector test. Mm -hmm. Stay back, man. I totally believe it. Yeah, now we're done. Okay. okay. Yeah. What I want to hear from you is, um, now, you could stand on a stage and keep saying, it didn't happen, it didn't happen. You could do that, and nobody's going to believe you anyways. Uh, because you, you failed the lie detector right. test. Uh, how many times did we give it to you? Two, three. Two, three times. Something like that. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, Failing each and every time. Times, dude. Okay. And you failed. You failed uh, all the pertinent questions. Hold on a second. You're failing all the pertinent questions. Um, and I go back to the alcohol. I've seen people do a lot of stupid things uh, drinking alcohol. I've done stupid things drinking alcohol. Fortunately, never uh, with children or, you know, coming on to children or whatever. Would you want to come out and say, you know what, it happened, I was an alcoholic, I drank way too much, and I did do it. How could you tell my be daughter? Not, I'm, I'm not I, saying I, I, that makes it right. It I'm excuse. trying to get somebody to admit the truth yeah. here, okay? If, if I did, if He's I... He's a chronic okay. liar. Everybody be quiet right now. If, were I, if, I, if I did do it and I remembered, I would, I would admit it. Well, you have some recollection so, because so that's what's if, causing So the apparently I did do it and I okay. don't remember. I now, must knowing that, that you're saying that you did do it, what do you want to say about that? You, you, you assaulted, molested a teenage girl. I'm sorry. Your best I, friend teenage girl. Oh, you're girl. sorry. No, I, I don't remember. What I'm do like, you want to say to the parents of that teenage girl? I'm sorry. You can take your sorry and go to hell. Okay, well, then there you go. You go to hell. <laughs> Right now, put it in my pocket. See, if I was in your position, I, I think I'd be more remorseful. Uh, you know, a teen, young teenage girl, how scared she must have been. How scared. She, she didn't even say it after the first time it happened because she knows you're all friends. She, she's scared to tell her parents. Yeah. How, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? You know the harm that you cause to a child because for your drunken sexual gratification. Think about that. Not you know for your drunken sexual gratification, you a child. And you violated something that is what we all want in life: the friendship. 
a friendship that you had with these people. They, what, what kind of world are we living in if we can't trust our friends, our family, which they considered you as an uncle, to trust your kids around family? I took you into my house, dude. Is there anything you want to say? You can't say nothing. Is there anything you want to say? Just, I'm sorry. I'm ready. You're sorry and go to hell. Well, I'm sure when you go home, there's going to be some consequences to your actions. Yep. And for now, you can get the hell off my stage. <laughs> I understand there's issues other than this allegation and who he now has admitted on my stage that he has done this. Uh, we don't get that very often where somebody, even after a lie detector says, yeah, I did it. can only hide so long, Steve. Well, you want to do something stupid and not be there for your kids, then you take the law into your own hands. But if you want to be there and protect your daughter, then you do it properly and you let the legal system oh, handle we're it. Oh, going to handle it. Okay. We're going for it. But knowing that this family suffered enough, you going through cancer, uh, your daughter suffering this, what happened to her, is there anything that you want to say to each other? I just want left alone. Lose my number, don't call my, she don't go to my house because she don't know where That's I live. Yeah, Steve, leave, leave me alone. alone. Leave me, my kids, no leave my kids' that. name out of her mouth at the bars. Leave us alone. I'm no problem with that. There's get no daughter, Just get your daughter help. Get you don't help. worry about my daughter. Get her you help. You go worry about your pedophile boyfriend. Get her help. Get her help. That'll be She's riding home with you. Get her help. Get her help. And we'll end the show with good luck to everybody. Good luck. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She described details. I don't care. What if she fails life effective test? I would want custody of my kids. Both parents, accusations of child molestation. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She described details. I don't care. Satin claims that her three-year-old niece said she was molested by her own father, Rashid. But he denies ever touching his daughter in a sexual manner and believes she has an overactive imagination because she's even accused her own mother. Take a look. Rashid and my sister have been together for about six years. They have three kids together. Last year, I was watching my nieces, and then my son came to me and told me that my niece tried to touch him inappropriately. And then she just told me like, something that I never thought I would, I would ever hear from her. She told me that her little sister had touched her inappropriately. And it all led up to it happened at her mommy's house and that Rashid was also involved. It was bath time, and Rashid made her do it and he also touched her inappropriately it just seemed too many details for her to be making it up that's just how i feel it was way too many details i had a feeling something had been happening to her but i just didn't know who did it i was angry um i was really shocked and i really didn't know what to do i can't tell my sister how i really feel because i don't want to lose her again we've already fell out because of him if he did this and my sister doesn't take action, then I will take the action. I'm not going to find out and then just do nothing about it because this is a child and this child can't protect herself. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. Um, you got to stand up. Um, but what's unusual about this story, um, is it your girlfriend? Yeah, I mean, she's not your wife. No. Okay. She's also accused of molesting your daughter. Correct. So both parents, uh, accusations of child molestation. Did you molest your daughter? No, Steve. I would never do nothing like that. Uh, why are you being accused of that? My daughter has a wide imagination. She has a big imagination. She makes up 
things from anywhere. Like, for instance, there was a time that me and her were sitting in the house, and, and she how just... How old is your daughter? She's... <clears throat> now she's four. She's four years old. Yeah. Okay. And we were sitting in the house, and she said, Dad, you remember the time we was at the park, and I was riding my bike, and I fell? No, honey, that never happened, because we haven't been to the park with your bike. So she makes up stuff all the time. I mean, I wouldn't say she makes it up, but in her mind, it's happened. But in this incident, it never happened. I'm being accused of something that's that's tearing my family apart. I don't even get to see my kids. But wouldn't now. you say, uh, you know, Daddy, we remember that time I rode in a bike and I fell in a park is a lot different than my daddy's touching me, my private parts? Yeah, big difference. Yeah. But the difference is I didn't do it. And how are you with your daughter now since this is... Even the, the thing is, Steve, it's puzzling me on, on how I can be accused of this and... and I mean, we, and you we didn't did a do lot it. fine. You didn't do it. No. They talk about uh, the bath. Uh, this happened in the bath. Never happened, Steve. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I, when, when I put them in the bath, I let her do it herself. I mean, most of the time, when, when, until she got about three years old, I will. I, her mama gave them baths. I didn't give them baths. If I gave them baths, I would. Hey, what a rag. Now, there you go. You wash yourself up. I don't touch my kids. Just, just in case something like this would ever come up, you can't say, hey, Rashid did it. Right. No, you're not going to get that off on me. Do you believe your daughter was molested at all? I, I don't know, Steve. I don't I know. I mean, it, do you think Jasmine molested? No. Right. I go, that's sick. I'm like, who does that to their kids? Well, I mean, I, I mean I've seen people come right. here before, but no, I don't know. No. I, never. I mean, I, I can't remember a time when both mother and uh, uh, father are being accused of it. This might be the first time. Um, so it's got to be hard. It's, it's, it's tearing your family apart and you're not at home. Now, Jasmine's sister Satin believes that you did this. You don't care about no, I don't, I don't. I don't care nothing Why about Why do you Satin. think she, she believes that you did this? Any, anytime, anytime you do them, like your wife, for instance, you might have somebody in her family that, that don't like you. No, and they this, all, they all this, love me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I don't get that. I don't get that. I'm a, I'm a nature, but... So am I, and I think so much. But I, we, she we've doesn't like you. She I mean, she doesn't, doesn't like me. She don't want me to be with her. She don't okay. want me around. She just let's she bring out your like girlfriend, Jasmine. If I find out that you touched her, it's gonna be a real big problem. I, I mean, she can't just come out in details like that. But what you accused? But I didn't get details. It don't matter. It, you, it don't matter. But what you accused? She, she described details. I don't care what you accused. Yes, of. I was accused. So don't but it, don't, like it, don't, it, don't, it don't matter. You're not gonna she gave and do details that, no. about you, not what me. What details did she give? Um, my sister held up a bear. She asked her where was she touched, and my daughter touched right there in between the legs. Have you ever touched? Your younger daughter for sexual gratification. He answered no. The results for his lie detector test is that he. Do you do you in your heart believe that he did this? I don't know what to believe because I'm saying when I look at him, it don't look like he would do such thing. I'm saying he's a great father, right. but it's my child is four. How you before you sit there and you give me details my face. You give me details like that. You give me details. No, move. You give me details. What for you are gonna know? Give you details like that. What for you are gonna say? Um, my daddy she made my sister touch me first. Uh, he says he says she is a very imaginative uh, young lady. Okay, bikes. I'm in a park. Right. Who uh, imagines? My, my, uh, I'm imagining my daddy touching me. Right. No, no she's for you. Who imagines their mom is touching them? Like I said, I don't think that she know between a good touch and a bad touch. And when it comes to me, well, she that, don't give details well, like that. Well, wouldn't that be the case with him too? Couldn't it be a case of, yeah, you know, uh, both my parents touch me. They not me saying that he made my sister touch me too, and not in between the legs. Right. So if he if he fails, it's gonna be some problems. Nothing. It's going to be some Nothing. problems. Come on. If you fail, there's going to be something. It's going to be some problems. She's going to bitch at me. She's going to have a heart no, attack. Well, I mean, I would hope she'd get the police involved if you fail. Yes. Um, if, if. Why, why doesn't your sister like him? None of my family likes him. I mean, it's, it's, it's his demeanor. He's a like he said, you know. He don't know when to shut what, up. What attracted you to him? I don't know. <laughs> that, you know. That was years ago, you know. Oh, time out. 
So I'm not a bad guy. I'm not saying you are. I'm a I'm not a bad guy. I mean, no, but I just wondering, like she's saying all this, what did she what was she attracted to? I mean, you're extremely good looking like me. Wow. It's the head, it's the head though. You gotta tell me how you get your so bad, man. You know. <laughs> okay. I you know, just the, both your demeanors. Did this happen? I don't know. No, I'm gonna believe my child. I'm gonna believe my child over anything. Do I don't I give a damn it? who do say what. I my child comes first. I'm gonna believe what she say. What he say does not matter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When, when she said you did something, when she said you do something, what, what did I do? What if she fails? What if she fails? Like Tucker Tucker? Tell him how to do. What are you gonna do? I mean, I mean, I would want custody of my kids. Okay. I have no problem with that. Let's I, bring I, I out with my kids your sister and the woman that doesn't like you very much, Satin. Joke, and it's nothing to be laughing about. Like, this is, it's way too many details for her to just have made this up. Like, a riding a bicycle in the park. Who gives a damn? Just because I ain't her, just because, just because I ain't her mom, don't make you no it different. It don't matter. I ain't my father, though. I am no it different. It don't matter. I am no different from nobody even else. Though I don't like you, kids, though. Even though I don't like you, we, we don't like what? each other. Okay. Even mm-hmm. though I don't like you, okay. I was cool with you. Okay. Before all of this. Uh, am, I good, am I good father to my kids? You a good father, but... Right, so... She, so she, mean, it don't mean what mean, what It mean, don't mean... Why would she make a bottom detail? Ethics! No, it does not. Yes, it does. But your sister's <laughs> also accused, too. She I says, never heard about her being accused. Oh. None of this. Which is true. I never told her that. I never knew that she was accused until we just got here today. That's crazy. It's crazy to when it comes to me, I am the devil. Because when it comes to everybody else, they're angel though, right? Who said that? You just did. You just said you never heard nothing about that. But you heard that. I never told her that. Oh, but you never told her. Really? You never told her that? I never told her. I never told her. everything is told about me? I don't know if it was him, but I know something happened to her. Your child told her. What do you mean? Remember, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. How can you say that if I wasn't there? Remember, I was at work. So everything that was told was from my child mouth to hers. What did the little girl say to you? She told me my son and her, my niece, the one we're... Yes, hear about, yes. and I think it was two of uh, two of my other nieces was there too, and they were upstairs playing. And then my son came and told me that she tried to do something inappropriate to him. So I sat her, sat her down, you know, put her to the side, and was just asking her questions because I felt like something happened to her for her to have done this. And then that's when she started telling me about the other child touched her and that. He was involved, and, it, and I was like, where did it happen? I was asking a lot of questions so it could be I bet you. When, I bet you when she said that, you was jumping like a dog in heat, boy. I, I no, swear to what I boy. did was I called my sister. And, and that's when I left work. And that's and when I she left over. work. And I let her talk to her because that's her child. You, uh, I'm just the Did aunt, anybody take these children to a hospital? Or? I sure did. I took her to the hospital. The hospital said it doesn't look like she was abused down there. Right. But I went to child it. services. CPS was involved. I had um, two people talk to her. They didn't even so have there me was, in the there room was, with her. there was an investigation. Uh, it was an investigation and they closed it. All right. But it's still the thought in the back of my mind. You know, well, I can't you trust know them. Let's find out. Jasmine, we gave you a lie detector test, and we asked you, have you ever sexually molested your older daughter? You answered no. She told the truth. We asked Rashid, have you ever touched your older daughter for sexual gratification? He answered no. Have you ever touched your younger daughter for sexual gratification? gratification. He answered no. The results for his lie detector test is that he told the truth. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Time out, time out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. on. Can I get the most biggest apology? I apologize, but I'm not about to give you the biggest because that's my four-year-old. Why not? You put me through a year through hell. I don't care, but if about, my four-year-old says something, I'm going to automatically believe her. But, oh, you oh, can't oh, blame oh, me for that. When you you believe, cannot believe, believe me for blaming my you. child. I have one thing to say. If not him, then who? That's what I want to know. 
Do you believe that something happened by somebody else? I feel like something happened to her or she saw something. I mean, she could have been at a relative house, daycare, or something, been on the TV. But, you know, she just don't make this stuff up. She saw something or she was in something. Something happened to where she had to she accuse somebody. She could have saw something, but do you believe that maybe she really was molested? You know, she really don't have it. That you was a year you don't ago. Believe, you don't believe it happened? Our, our kids are protected. You came here, you did have a cloud, and I agree with you. If the subject comes up, you can't just brush it aside. You, you gotta, gotta act investigate. on it. But if I'm such a great father and I'm great to my kids, I've never gave you any indication whatsoever that I would do something like this. Then why look at me like that? that happens all the time. People say, oh, not him, not him. And then it turns out to be that person. Well, this should have been it, because evidently... Well, I hope this is it for you. And I hope the issue never, uh, you know, comes up again. I hope that... There's never a question of it. I hope you both be good parents, and I, I hope, uh, you know, you don't have to end up well, on my stage I always be again. a good parent. Good for you. They don't need for me not to be. All right. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Marijuana can cause paranoia. How much pot do you smoke? Huh? <laughs> do you cheat on No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I know for a fact that you cheated on me with my neighbors. He's just talking to them through the walls. Y yeah, I can hear him. He'll put like little sticks under the tires of the car. He's like, the stick was like this, and now it's like this. Your neighbor Mike is here. He's going to come through this window right here. I've never seen a dude act like that before. Then you got to realize you got the problem. No, I don't have the yes, problem. Yes, you do. Let's get to the results. Yeah. You were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah. Make it chips. You want a cookie? You oh, want a cookie? Yeah. See that jumper? The, there's more. I put this girl out there to make the money. She's a prostitute, people. Were you prostitute? No, I wasn't. So who's lying here? I'm going to prove that it's his child. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. Took a DNA test. We're going to find out. You want to get smashed? Security. My guest Danny says he can't trust his girlfriend. He's even gone to the extremes of setting booby traps to try and catch her cheating. And there's more. The man he thinks she's cheating with is their neighbor. Take a look. I'm here today because uh, my boyfriend thinks that I've been cheating on him. He sets up booby traps for me um, because he thinks I'm sneaking out in the middle of the night. He'll put like little sticks under the tires of the car just to see if it was moved. And he says they're not in the same spot. The car was moved and I never touched the car. He'll put our car keys in a certain way. Um, that way he'll know if they're moved or not. He's written down the mileage in the car. When I text my friends, he thinks that I have uh, secret names for the guys that I'm texting. Most nights I won't be able to sleep because he keeps me up all night long, uh, accusing me of talking to people through the walls. He thinks that my neighbor and I are messing around. Um, he thinks that the neighbor will sneak over in the middle of the night or he'll think that I message him on my cell phone. He's so obsessed with thinking that I'm cheating that he's driving himself crazy. He's been my one and only, and I've never done anything to him for him to think that I'm cheating on him. I'm stressed out all the time. I feel like I've done everything I could possibly do for him and, and prove to him that I love him. It just hurts that the person that I love the most is accusing me of cheating on him. I've proved to him hundreds of times that I've been faithful, that I love him, um, and it's just never, never good enough for him. Two and a half years is a long time to think that somebody's cheating on you. Yeah. Why are you still with her? Well, because I, I love her. You know, yeah, it's like when I'm away you know, from her, I can't, I can't be like away from her you know it's, it's hard on me so now do you put like in a in the tape uh you put a little stick behind her tire do you do things like yeah, that I've, yeah i've done stuff like that i feel like she has honestly cheated on me and i'm gonna be the one that gets hurt at the end of this not her when you watch that tape and she's already hurt right she's hurt already that you're accusing her of this because she says you not only haven't i cheated you're the one and only for her well, I just, I just don't believe it, because a while ago, uh, I had a buddy living with me, you know, he was like, I came home, I seen a shirt on my floor, and, and I asked him, but I was like, do, you know, you guys doing something behind my back? And she, you know, they both said no. A day later, I go back in, in my room, and I, there's a green shirt, and imprinted on it says, you bet your sweet ass. So I was like, you know what I mean? I just put two and two together. It's like, I've never had caught in it her doing it 
But I. The shirt says, "You bet your sweet ass." Yeah, there was no shirt in my room, and then all of a sudden, another one of his shirts. So you think somebody was sending you a message like, "You bet your sweet ass, I'm sleeping with your girlfriend." Right. <laughs> Did you ask him if he put the shirt there? Yeah, he, he don't know how it got there again. And you think she's cheating now, right? Yeah. With who? With Mike, my, my neighbor. Why do you think that? Because it'll be late at night, you know, I'll hear him. I'll, like, he'll, he'll type, type me on Facebook, and then he'll just won't talk to me for 15 minutes, and I'll hear him outside, and, you know, she's in the back, so she's talking to somebody. I hear him all the time. I mean, he, But she's in the here. house, and he's outside. Huh? <laughs> no, you said he's in the house. I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll... Yeah, but my, my walls on my my walls on my house are thin. You know what I mean? That you can hear, and it, it's so quiet I'm saying, out though, there. But so... your 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 girlfriend's in the house, and he's outside. Yeah. Well, no matter how thin those walls are, they can't be having sex, right? Well, he come no, he comes through the window when I'm when he comes through the window. Yes, I honestly believe. But if that... you're coming through the window and those walls are real thin, wouldn't the whole wall just collapse? Well, it's not that thin. <laughs> Have you seen this guy crawling through your window? I've heard it. Well, I've heard noises, you know what I mean? And now you're at the point you don't even let Missy cook for you, right? Yeah, and I, I don't trust her anymore, no. Why don't you let her cook for you? Because I think she's doing stuff to it, you know? She's spitting in it because I had a drink. I had a drink on my counter. I just took a sip of it. I put it back down. I go to the bathroom. I come back. I take a sip off it and, like, slime down in my throat, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, if you're at the point where you don't trust your girlfriend, you think she's spitting in your food, you know, people are crawling through your windows, why stay with somebody like that? Because... Because I know once I do break up with her and leave her, yeah, it'll be all right for a few days, and then I'm going to be all sad and depressed and not want to do nothing and stay inside and not do nothing, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to ask you a question I want you to ask honestly, right? How much pot do you smoke? I don't know, it smells like a bowl. It's a bowl of bowl. Hold on, hold on. How, how much do you smoke? Just like a bowl once in a while. A bowl? Yeah, ain't gonna lie to you. Marijuana can cause paranoia. No, nah, man, I'm paranoid, and it's not, it's not the weed. You're not paranoid. Well, no, I am a little paranoid <laughs> about things, but it's not the weed doing it. Right. So now let me ask you another question. Do you cheat on your girlfriend? I, I cheated on her one time. That's just, it. just once. Just one time, because I suspected her cheating on me because of the way she was treating me, you know? Do you cheat on No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I know for a fact that you cheated on me with my neighbors. He's talking to them through the walls. Y yeah, I can hear him. Your neighbor Mike is here. He's going to come through this window right here. Do you cheat on No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I know for a fact that you cheated on me with my neighbors. Listen, it sounds like a crazy story, okay? And I think if you cut back on the marijuana use, you might not be so paranoid. Because little tree limbs behind a, a tire, you know, set keys a certain way. If you have to live that way, it's if it gets it. to that point, it's not worth it, man. No, I hear you. Um, now, she took a lie detector test, and obviously she passes. Will that cure some of this paranoia? That would help. Yeah, that would help. And if she fails, what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. I'd probably be really pissed off. Well, yeah, I know you'd be pissed off, but... Would you finally break up with her? Yes, definitely, 100%. And then maybe go back and put some uh, insulation and some drywall over your walls. All right. Let's bring out Missy. I'm 
sick and tired. I know I'm for a fact you that you cheated on cheating. me. And where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where is it, Danny? We're going to have proof as soon as You're stuff right, goes down. You're right, we're going to have proof. Because proof I know that, that you, that you, you are with, wrong. You're with one of my best friends. Now you're with my neighbors. Have you caught me going out in the middle of the house? Have I not yes, been by your side Missy, the whole time? Yes, people were right outside trying to pick you up in the middle of the night. And who was there? He, Mike. Did and he, he's the only one that was alone, right? Diddy, he, Mike sat there and told you that he was getting no. picked up by his friends. He's your friend. He's not my friend. Let me let me take over from here. Do you cheat on him? No. Do you spit in his food? No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. Do you engage in sex on the living room floor with other men besides your boyfriend? No. Did you put the T-shirt in the bedroom that said, what did it say? You bet your sweet no. ass. No. You love him? I do. And... It's got to be tough being constantly accused of cheating. Mm -hmm. How did you notice that he was putting twigs behind your car tire? Because he would come up to me, he's like, why the stick move? <laughs> what happened with it? I'm like, what is it? What are you talking about? He's like, the stick was like this, and now it's like this. I'm like, well, I didn't touch the stick. The keys were like this, and now they're like this. I didn't even know where the keys were. You ever have sex with a neighbor? Never. Never? Ever fantasize about him? No. Okay. You were the one telling me when he moved um, in. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, when he and came in, I, I go from I that said, to oh, he's, he's ugly, he's, he's this, I, I he's that. I don't think I ever said that he's cute. It doesn't what? matter. I honestly don't think I ever said he's cute. I said he's but a nice guy. You know what? Guy. I think a couple should say, oh, he's cute, they're cute. You make games. He, like, you're right, because he tells me every day how everybody oh, else is. Oh, yeah, in the world that's the man right there. That's the man's uh, body style I want right there. That's the same guy right there. Oh, he's cute. That's what you're saying. Okay. And then you're acting um, like. You're not spitting in his food, right? No. That's pretty disgusting. That is disgusting. Okay. Well, and he'll make me. She is. I won't even eat anything. He'll make me eat the food. Would make me try it before he'll even try it just to ensure that I'm not doing it. Okay, so she's eating. <laughs> oh and then he God, says, oh, it does, doesn't it, matter that you eat your own spit. Anymore. So if she, so right. if she eats her the food that you want her to taste, and I, are you okay with it then? Well, she eats at least half of it, I am. Your neighbor Mike is here. Let's see. <laughs> he's going he's to come through this window right here. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. What, Mike? What, are you trying to say something to me, man? Yeah, I'm sick and tired of you okay. saying that I'm cheating. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm straight up right in, man. No, no, I don't no, no, even no, care, no. man. I'm well, scared of you. Don't, don't say that, man. Don't swear. Don't swear. You're supposed yeah, to be okay, my boy. I go up there, I puff the lunch with you. This is how you Stop act, man. Stop swearing. No. You're getting into more than weed, man. Yeah, something. all right. He's talking to him through the walls. Yeah, I can hear a man's voice compared to a girl's voice. I'd never seen a dude act like that before. Danny, you gotta realize you got the problem. No, I don't have the yes, problem. Yes, you do. Let's get to the results. Yeah. He's talking to him you know I mean? through the walls. Y yeah, I can hear a man's voice compared to a girl's voice. So I gotta ask you, Mike. Uh, yeah. Do you climb through the window? No, I don't climb through the window. I stay in my house. And He's on the computer all, all the time trying to get me. at me. Come over when you need I don't something. talk to him, you know what I mean? I don't need to talk to him every so two seconds. So you're not seconds. sleeping with his no, girlfriend? No, I'm not sleeping with his girl. You're no. not creeping He's supposed to be my friend, you know what I mean? But he acts all crazy. Like I'm sleeping with uh, her. Why do you think he acts this crazy? I have no idea. Could really. it be the pot? Uh, I think it's something else. But I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's cheating on her. Maybe he. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know. think he's cheating on I've you? I've never seen a dude act like that before. No. You don't think he's. I was heartbroken when he did the first time. And, so, she, and she's always crying. And because that caused you so much pain, you don't think he would do that again? Um, I like Missy as a friend. She's cool. You know what I mean? But I can't even really talk to her because like Danny thinks I'm. You know what I mean? Dude, it, there's been th there's been like three different times I've heard his voice outside of my house. You know, and I'm she's, not stupid. And man. she's in the house talking to him. You know what I mean? Through the walls. Y yeah, I can hear a man's voice compared to a girl's voice. You know what I mean? I, mean, I can hear her whispering, and I know her voice in a whisper. You know what I mean? He was just texting her the other day. I was giving neighbors. him a ride somewhere. It doesn't They're matter. I, 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 I wasn't texting her. No. I wasn't texting him. I was him. not texting her, Steve. Listen, even if you did, 
she's your neighbor, he's your buddy. Yeah, you I thought, you that. know, I, I like the kid. That's he's the a good code, kid, right? but That's the just, guy code, yeah, right? I wouldn't do that. You know I'm what just mean? embarrassed. I'm just making himself look like he's crazy, and I don't want to do that. No, 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 listen. I didn't want to make him look like he was crazy. Who called the show? Me. Okay. You called the show because you're tired of this, right? I am. I can't and sleep. And you, you're willing to take a lie detector test to prove to him that you're not doing this. Yeah. And if you pass and he doesn't change. Oh, I can't live like it. I can't. I'm going to be starting school. I want to make something on myself. And for me staying home. <laughs> me staying home with you. And, you, and might, you know what? You might have to put your foot down about the pot usage. Yeah. You might have to say, if you want to be with me, you got to stop smoking pop because he did, it's making he, you too paranoid. And, and that's the thing is I, I know he, he loves me because he's, he's done a lot to change. Like he used to drink every day. He stopped drinking for me. He, he got a job and he, you know, doing what he could do and to prove to me he, he loved me. Let's get to the results. Yeah. <laughs> no luck. You know what I mean? I love no. I'm the one who's not getting Missy took yet. a lie detector test, and she was asked, are you currently cheating on Danny? She answered no. Have you ever had sexual contact with Mike? She answered no. Have you ever had sexual contact with another man while in a relationship with Danny? She said no. Have you ever tampered with Danny's food or drink? She answered no. And the results for your lie detector test, and they're all the same. They came back all the same way. We all know. I told the truth. <laughs> you told the truth. Yeah. Then how, then how, how can you explain, then how can you explain why you're showing up? Dang, all this happened. Things just happened like that. Because it's haunted to everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Dan, you got I don't care. You got the problem. No, I don't have the yes, problem. Yes, you do. And I tell you one time, one more accuse of, of saying that I'm a cheater, calling me names. I am so done. I don't even believe you, and I still don't believe it. I still don't believe it. I know okay. it's true. It's got to be true. Okay. But I don't believe it. Um. Well, I know it's true, man. It's just that like she lies about anything. Say to Mike? Mike, I just want to say sorry. Yeah. If Legit, then. Well, well, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, she I, passed. I just, Hold on, stop. You, you, oh, Mike, I'm sorry. Her, you're like, no, I don't believe it. And what about this and that? It's just been so much lies and so much you know stuff what? I've learned. You're going to end up hurt and depressed like you said you're going to be. That's what's going to happen. I already there. am, so it doesn't well, matter. Her, her. Okay, it doesn't I'm matter. Gonna, you know? So, you know what I would up. say? I would say, he said, well, it doesn't matter. Basically, his reaction is. You took the lie detector twice, right? Yeah. So basically, she took the lie detector twice. She passed both times. And basically, he's saying, I don't care. No, that's I do a, care. No, I, you don't. I, I, no, you don't. Because that's not the reaction of somebody who cares. And you can say whatever you want. You need to stop <laughs> smoking so much pot because it's screwing up your head. Oh, oh I didn't even know that. Here's a, a surprise. You no, took a lie detector no. twice. <laughs> Do you want me to read his results? Other than the one female Missy already knows about, have you ever had sexual intercourse with other women during your relationship with Missy? The answer, no. Results for that question is, you were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah, naked chicks. I'm going to prove that it's his child. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. Took a DNA test. We're going to find out. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with other women during your relationship with Missy? The answer, no. Results for that question is... Are you currently cheating on Missy? The answer, no. Results for that question is... He told the truth. Other than the one female Missy already knows about, have you ever had sexual intercourse with other women during your relationship with Missy? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Oh, 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 
So I don't care what that paper says because it's not true. <laughs> um, have you ever tampered that. with Missy's food or drink? No. You answered no and you told the truth. Um, I don't know if you heard, we asked him if he ever tampered with your food and drink. Who did you cheat on me with, Missy, did he? I did it. Uh, there's nobody oh. else to even let know. Me, let me finish. Uh, oh, I can't believe it. I've only been in a state, but we only have like he this many people in there, man. He didn't tamper with your food or drink. And then Dan Rebikoff, who administers our lie detector test, his, sto uh, his notes for this test are, subject kept stating that he was nervous during the test. This is the common excuse for failing. Subject continued to leak deception as he asked if he passed the test on several occasions. He then stated twice, I should pass as I'm pretty sure I told the truth. All right, you're going to ask someone who's paranoid, supposedly, if they're nervous. So, you know what I mean? I have anxiety. That that he had and you're trying to ask me if I'm nervous. Like, well, but even nervousness sorry. or anxiety would not influence your test results. All right, whatever. So who was it? That, that same girl? The only person I can think about that it even was was back in the day when we first got together before anything even solid happened with us. That was okay. pretty much it. Uh, you know what? The truth of it is, who cares? I mean, I know well, you care because it. this is your relationship. But the thing is, you came here, you passed the test. <laughs> This guy doesn't pass what, about being honest about cheating on you. He's putting, you know, the neighbors through hell. He's putting you through hell. When do you finally say, you know what, enough's enough. Until you change, you can't be with me. You, you have destroyed my life. You've destroyed my life. How? You freaking that sucked that every last penny right out of me, hey, bro. You I want hey, oh hey, pot my God, get off my stage! Um, now, I, I like you, Missy. I really do, and I think you've suffered enough. So here's the deal. We're going to play pick a door here. Out that door is Mr. Pothead, who, who not only doesn't care that you passed the lie detector test, <laughs> that puts you through hell for two years, but he can't pass his own damn lie detector test. All right? And out this door is the Steve Wilco Show, me and my staff. We're going to help you get yourself back on your feet. If you want to say, hey, you know what? I deserve better for myself, and I think there's a guy out that door that's going to treat me a lot better. Yes. Go out that yeah, door. Yeah. So... The show's over. We're all curious. What are you going to do with your life? The, the reason why I came on the show was to And we gave to it him. to you. And we gave it to you. Yeah. Yep. And now, what are you going to do with that? And then I, I feel as though, I, and I'm being honest, that I, I, I want to see if he'll change. Then go out that door. I just want to say I'm sorry for everything, and I'm sorry for Who putting you through with? all this. Why did you tell me? I'm sorry for smoking all the pot, and I'm sorry for all everything. No, why didn't done. you tell me? Missy, uh, Missy, when? it was so long ago. The beginning of our relationship. That don't even matter and you're anymore. Tell four me years now. ago you're is tell four years ago. And, and if I would have done it you four years ago, well, you would have done what? He walked out the door to be with you. What are you going to do with him? Well, probably she wants start to treat change. her right and do the right thing. Stop smoking. Stop dr Well, I never drink anyway, but stop it and try to move uh, you on know, and have a good saying, life. I'm watching this, and who knows? Maybe he'll change. You want to see if he's going to change. There's nothing wrong with that. You've got a lot of time invested in the guy. But if you go back and if and if he's still acting, I promise you. I, I promise you. Steve, I will leave. I promise you. Okay. I promise. I hope so. I good promise. Luck. You were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah. Naked chicks. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. You want to get smacked? Security. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. You want to get smacked? Security. Tiffany, why are you here? I'm here today to prove to my ex, who's nothing but a lying, 
cheating little bum that he's father of my son, and he needs to step up and do what he has to do, or he can go on somewhere, because I'm done with it. He doesn't believe that uh, your child is his. Uh, does he think you were cheating on him, or...? Uh, according to him, he thinks I was prostituting. But he's the one that left me when I was six months pregnant to go live with his ex-girlfriend in another state. Why does he think you were prostituting? I don't know. He makes up stuff in his head. Like, he lives in a different world than everybody else. He's um, not right. Were you prostituting? No, I wasn't. Okay. Never been arrested for it? No. Okay. I've never been arrested in my life, let alone prostitution. Have you ever prostituted? No, I haven't. All right. So you have the baby, and, you're in, and you tell him you're pregnant. Uh, five months go by, now you're five months pregnant, things are wonderful? Yeah. He's happy, you're happy? Mm hmm And then six months he goes, hey, I got a chick that's not pregnant. No, he said that he had nowhere to live, so he decided he would move four states away Wasn't from he me to with live you? with his ex. Yes, but I couldn't have him living where I was living. Okay, so he said, well, I don't got a place to live, I'm going to go live with the next four, four states, states away. Four states away from me with his ex-girlfriend and try to convince me they weren't doing anything because I'm just that stupid, right? No. How did you find out he was cheating on you? I looked at his Facebook and it said, check out my YouTube videos. He told the whole world, check out his videos. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to look at your videos. Get on there. It's videos of naked chicks. Like, are you that stupid, really? With him with naked with chicks? Him? Yes, he's rubbing all over them, talking to them. They're and naked you, in his house, sleeping. you provided us... Uh... A copy of the tape. Oh, yeah. Well, well, let's take a look. Go ahead. That, that thing over there, that little thing sleeping on that couch, right there, Christy, just passed the f out. That's right. Now, let me go back here. You got this. Yeah. Cool. She all right. So, yeah. That's my life. That's how it goes. It's a real boss. Holla at me. Yeah. This goes on on a 24-7 daily basis. Okay. It's a real pimp. Pimp? No, you're not. You were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah, he was in a different state. We were supposed I mean, to be together. I was he six just, months he pregnant. He just rubbed her butt a little bit. No, no, no. I don't care what he did. If I'm with you and I'm pregnant by you, you shouldn't even be touching another female, thinking about touching nothing. How old is your child now? He's, he will be three months, and he ain't seen him not one damn time. I ain't even bought him a pack of Pampers. And um, we took a DNA test. Yeah, isn't he beautiful? He yeah, is a beautiful little boy. Thank you. Um, and so he's, he's never held him, never seen him? Nope. Never bought him anything? Nope. He'd rather call me and accuse me of doing stuff with other guys than call me and say, hey, how's my son soon? Do you still love this guy? Yeah, I still love him. Would you, if he came on here and said... I'm dumping the other girl to be with you. Would you take him back? Oh, no. He's a bump. No. He's I got kids to raise. I can't be raising another one. You ain't got no job. You ain't got nowhere to live. You don't do nothing with your life. You sit around and get drunk all day long. You're disrespectful. You cheated on me and everything. Of course I love him. I gave him a child. Of course I love him. But am I going to be with you? No. Am I in love with you? No. I did love you, but I'm not going to be with you. So what are you hoping happens today? Today, I'm going to prove that it's his child, and he can either step up and do what he has to do, or he can just sign his rights over, and I'll leave him alone, because I don't want nothing to do with him, but he can either have something to do with my son, or he can go on somewhere. It's done. It's, right. I'm set Let's up. bring out your former boyfriend, oh, Nick. Oh, really? Hey, Miss Piggy, shut up. Excuse me? me. Shut right, up. Shut up. right. This I'm girl, what? I put I'm Miss Piggy. Hold up. I'm Miss Piggy, but you were calling me last I'm night, talking. right? Shut up. Want me to come chill with you? Shut up. You this ain't a man. Listen, you ain't got no job. You don't take care of your kids. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no job. You ain't You gave me every single dime you ever made. I put you out there to make the money. What are you talking about? Because you is a bum. Oh, because I'm a bum. So I thought you ain't a prostitute, though. Nick. I'm not a prostitute. Stop. Stop for one second. Come on. Nick. Yeah. Listen, I mean, you know. Hi, Steve. How's how you doing? doing? <coughs> um, Put my videos on there. Are you serious for yeah, real? Yeah, I'm serious. Next. What was you doing while I was pregnant? Focus for two okay. seconds, okay? She could possibly be the mother of your child, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you have some doubts, but you took a DNA test, and we're going to find out. But you're calling her names, insulting her. 
She calls me a bum. I mean, yeah. Because you ain't got no saying, job and you don't take care of your kid. Saying. That's what a bum is. What... Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides Nick around the time you got pregnant with your son? You answered no. And the results are... Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides Nick around the time you got pregnant with your son? You answered no. And the results are... I, I would assume that if this child is yours that you'd want to be... Oh, I'm going to be there. You'd oh, want to yeah, be a dad. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking okay. custody of my son. I, I just say, no. I could look at you, and I'm not saying this in a mean way, but you're immature. You know what I mean? You're 21 years old, and... So I guess what I'm saying is, is a child enough to motivate you to become, you know, act more like a man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it will. Yeah. It will. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that she was prostituting? Are you serious? I put her out there to do it. I was the one okay. saying... No, you stop, 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 stop. Why would you do that? I'm a bum. I needed money. Okay. <laughs> right? You know what? If it's true, and I don't right? know if I believe it so much, okay. and I got to be honest... But if you did, and you're being serious, then I gotta say, you know, that's probably one of the worst. No, you know, it's up there. It's in the top five worst oh, things you yeah. could do to a female. Oh you know yeah, what I you're mean? right about that. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I understand. So did yeah. you really do that? Yeah. I'm not lying to you. No. I'm not lying to you. Why man. would you put a woman in that position? I don't know. You're right about that. I, I have it's, no clue. You know what? It's disgusting. It's not funny. Um, no, it's not. Because I'll say this. When I was a Chicago policeman and I saw all these women work in the streets, their lives are, are destroyed. Yeah. They become shells of what they were. Yeah. They get raped, beaten, robbed. Yeah. Um, they lose every sense of who they are. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. You right? understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you ever seen that in a woman? No. Okay, then you don't understand what I'm saying. Because only but... you could understand if you saw that, if you looked in these eyes. And you said, you know, I wonder what their parents are thinking right now. Are they looking for their child? Their, their little girl that's destroyed now, that will go with anybody for any amount of money. If you understood that, you would never send a woman out there. She was doing it before I ever, ever met her. She says she was doing it she's saying she never did it. So who's lying here? You, you, who dropped you off to, when you first met me? Just because I go with somebody doesn't mean I'm prostitute. Yeah. All right. What do you mean go with somebody? Yeah. I, I go out to eat with, with somebody and I'm prostituting. <laughs> and then there's a text. You eat a meal and then have sex with them? No. Okay. They have sex with them, period. Who dropped you off to me? Somebody had to feed me because you, you first... sure in the hey, f***ing hey, hey, who? Don't swear. I'm sorry. See? Listen, you know, I hear two people, you know, you're pretty insulting and you're very insulting, but who, who who's going to be the role model here for your yeah. child? Yeah. I am, because I'm the one raising him. But you ain't doing you know nothing what? but stealing liquor forget. with your girlfriend from Walmart. Why don't you just concentrate on being a good mother? Yeah. I am Instead a good mother. Instead of, hold on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. There's more. Wait, there's more. What happened when, um, pay, pay this for your son, pay this? What about child support? How come you didn't show up to your child support? I told you I didn't have a way to get there. You didn't have a way to get there. And you, and you told went to me chill with your you wasn't going to, to give me the DNA there. anyways. You told me you weren't going to go give to me the DNA case, anyways. She wouldn't even and I would have got case. it done when he was do first born if he was here. Yeah, I love her. If, you do love her. Not like, I'm not in love with her. I want to be with her ever again. You know what I'm saying? We spend time together. I spend but time you don't want to be with me, but you invited me to your hotel last night, right? Did I? Yeah. Oh, you did? Prove it. Prove I, it. I got the, hired, okay, dude. can I we bring my cell phone my out hotel. here? Because I got the... I've been her best friend since I was eight. What do you know? You don't who know who No, no come on. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? That's who is baby daddy right, right there. The is she? Who is she? Please, be quiet. Everybody, stop. Listen. Dude, I can't even talk. Please, Nick. Nick, I'm asking you, please be I'm quiet. Just, please good. be quiet. 
Do you have anything that you want to add? The reason I'm here is because the whole time she was pregnant, when you left her to go stay in Michigan with your little girlfriend, your little ex-girlfriend, I took care of her. I took her to her doctor's appointments. I bought her stuff for her baby. I fed her. I paid the, I paid the bills that's in the house that she lived in. Now, you weren't having sex, were you? No. Okay. No, you I just took care of her and everything about her, her doctor's appointments, everything. You guys are good friends. Yeah, yeah. I've and been pregnant since I was eight years old. So, what do, you, what do you think? Like, he's wrong for denying the baby? He, he's a lame. Like, what are you doing in life? What are you doing? You're a stripper. I'm what, a stripper. What? Oh, yeah. I, what? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. a stripper. Guess what? I make more one night than you. I make more one night than you one night. She's a stripper. Surprise. I want to thank you seriously. I want to thank you for helping your friend out through her pregnancy, yeah. helping her out. That's just great being a friend. You can have a seat. Thank okay, you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Come on, my YouTube videos on oh, TV. Yeah. Tiffany, you down. came here and you took a lie detector. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what we asked you, but we're about to find out. You asked me if I was a prostitute. I guess the ball prostitute. Um, while in a relationship with Nick, did you ever prostitute? You answered no. Um, you did not tell the truth. Oh. Bowling, bro! I told you, bro! You want a cookie? You Bowling, want a cookie? bro! Security. You better back up. Oh, you see that jumper? And you said you're hoping you're not the father. I hope not. All right. God, I pray not. If you need private, discreet DNA paternity testing, call DNA Diagnostic Center at 1-877-DNA-CENTER. Okay, so will you admit that you did prostitute? Oh, now we sure, right? whatever. Ah! <laughs> sure, whatever. Sorry, but I was uh, lying, guys. Hold on. Sorry. If you have a little son, is this the way you want to act? Pull up the no. picture. Okay. He looks different. No. All right. Pull up the picture. But if you were a prostitute, it could be anyone, right? <laughs> yeah, like. I mean, I mean, you failed. Not when I got pregnant, and it wasn't even prostitute. There you go. Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides Nick around the time you got pregnant with your son? You answered no, and the results are you did not tell the truth. Oh, wow. We're done. Oh, no, we don't so, talk to and it was I want a cookie. Balling. It was It was I want a cookie. I don't care who. I'm no, balling. I'm going to take a show. Hold on, hold on. A show of hands. Does anybody care? No. I don't. I did. Because to me, this just seems like two knuckleheads that got together that they really don't care who they sleep with. They don't think about the consequences of what happens when you have sex. And then you act like a total moron to each other after the baby's born. Please, Please God. But... This one matters. This this is the only yeah, thing that matters yeah, yeah, because right. the little boy involved in this story, I mean, he's... Look at him. He looks just you know like the, you. The, Are you the, look at it. You know what the shame of it is? How old is he? He's three months. He's three months old and he's already a victim. I oh, know. He's a victim. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. All right. God, I pray not. Well, you got something to look forward to on Father's Day. You are the father. Thank you. Give me my money. Give me my money. You need to give me my money. You need to give me my money and step up or sign your rights over. Be a man, okay? Step up, get a job. It don't matter what I did. I take care of your son. You ain't did. The sad thing is there's a little boy, and I don't think either one of you, and prove me wrong, I hope, but I don't think either one of you are going to grow up and be a good a uh, parent to this child. That's my fourth. I got three others. Where are they? Where are they? Huh? They're not with you. Um, no, I am a good mom. I am a good Hold mom. On. They're not with you. Again, prove me wrong. They're not with her. But I, I would love to update this story That's only for your little boy. I'd like to Go have ahead. him on stage in a few years, talk to him. But the two of you, I just don't care. All That's right. fine. Goodbye. Both of you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, bro.